Are we up and running? Here we are. I can't see the chat from where I sit today. There's new special setup. My assistant Cameron is in the background here. Good morning. He's wearing his tinfoil uh, suit, tinfoil underwear to make sure we don't get here with the Wi Fi. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he's got his cyborg eye. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you arrange it? Yeah, that way? I just lined up though. <laughs> Next time, both eyes, okay? Okay. <laughs> so you're seeing the stream in one eye? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Good morning, whatever. Good morning here in Tokyo time. As everybody knows, it's a bit of a special stream today. And uh, we're going to try something interesting. You've seen me carve little bits here and there. You've seen me print little bits here and there. But today, we're going to put it all together in one stream. Uh, the image, we talked about this uh, coming up. The image is going to be... Oh, I'm sorry. I got the video, of course. Excuse me. The image is going to be the famous little Meiji era design that many uh, would-be printmakers have used as their test piece. And I'm going to do it at the actual size, the original Meiji one. It's the Meiji postcard size, which is 15 centimeters by, I think it was about 9.5 centimeters. And we're going to copy this at actual size, although I see so many people in the Twitch stream, you know, who have been making their own copies, have been making it at slightly larger size. But... Uh, <coughs> There's a reason for me to do it that way, and that's because once this is finished, this is not just for demonstration, once this is finished, it's going to go into our normal stock in the shop here for sale. And we have prints packaged at certain specific sizes, and this will be part of one of those. Anyway, and uh, one thing to mention before we do start, this is not going to be one of those, can Dave do this? Is it going to happen, you know, struggle, 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 you know, uh, <laughs> full of stress and stuff. No, this is just my normal work. We're going to peacefully start carving, and then when I'm done the carving, I'll peacefully start printing. And it'll take as long as it takes. I'm thinking maybe about the 90 minutes a normal Twitch stream might cover it. But it might go a bit longer. Maybe I'll be finished a bit earlier. Who knows? We'll Have see. you done one this fast before, though? What do you mean? Specifically all in the, one the, start to finish? Yeah, one run, 90 minutes approximately. Not in a recent lifetime, no. no. I don't think so. <laughs> so. I don't know. Anyway. If we talk too much, we'll never get this done. So uh, I, I normally watch the chat here on my computer. We're not doing that today. I can't see anything. Cameron over here is running all the chat and the stream itself. All I'm doing is setting the broadcaster. So if you've got questions in chat and whatever, Cameron's going to be. You know, he's the wingman today. We're doing it like we normally do. So I am now going to get started and get to work. You guys can chat with him. And of course, I'll answer whatever he passes over to me. Okay. I'm going to switch this over now so that you can see the bench. There's the print design. And I'm going to be quiet for a bit while I just get going. Okay. <laughs> I asked how fast, or have you done it this fast? They're asking. But rather, will Cameron do it without snoozing? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be falling asleep. <laughs> for those who've never seen these before, the, the tracing, what I've done, it's the normal thin gumpy paper sprayed onto just a normal white copy paper. And I didn't trace this out myself again. I just took a photo, you know, photocopy of the original. So we're not going to redraw this. A couple of the Twitch people actually prepared a version of this. They set up an illustrator with a vectored files, whatever. But they've traced this to do this. And I don't want to look at somebody else's tracing. I want to use the actual original lines of the original print. So that's what I'll be using here today. These are the registration hmm. marks, of course, going in here. It sounds like they might be hearing the microphone from the computer. When you turn toward me, it's getting quieter, which is odd because the microphone is close to me. <laughs> okay, well, check the microphone here. It says audio. Check, check. The audio is coming through the black magic. It's coming from here. the audio plugged in to the camera. So huh. this mic right here is plugged into the camera, which goes through Black Magic, which comes to my streaming software. The MacBook audio for me is turned off. Okay. Okay. Are we having synchronization issues like we have sometimes before? Let's see. I'm not sure. We should maybe Let's sort see. those out early in the stream yeah. if we do, because I can adjust the video delay here. Great. Oh, the audio swapped when you changed the camera to this block instead of the main one on there. But it looks like it's 
Oh, I okay, see. Now? So it was the previous one I was on. Yes, 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 yes. Let's check. Go back okay. and check this. When I do this one, now it's the MacBook audio from the MacBook. Okay. So that's the audio from here. I'm sorry. I should have thought about that. Now when we switch, we switch back to this view, this is now the camera microphone, which is between you and me. So we should okay. be okay as so long as okay. we stay here. All right. Got Thank it. You. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah. On the Twitch stream, uh, on the Twitch page or the fan page, there's lots of people doing their own printmaking now, and lots and lots of comments coming back and forth about different things. And a lot of people seem to be having a bit of trouble with this part of it, pasting mm. down the design. What kind of glue to use, how hard to rub, and this and that, and this and that. And uh, well, for me, it's been important that uh, make the wood wet first. If you start with dry wood, then when you put the glue on, it soaks right into the wood really quickly. And you don't get much contact with your with your tracing. Then a light, I use light glue, and I'm moistening this. I'm spitting on my fingers to make this a bit wetter. If we use wood glue at full strength, it's too strong. Mm. It leaves a covering on the wood, and then when you start to print later on, it's it blocks moisture absorption. They ask, are you going to carve the postage stamps as well? No, 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 no. A hundred times no, a thousand times no. So I've got to make something up. I mean, the postage stamp covers up actually a few of the lines of the original printing. Right. So we'll have to, I don't know, what's the word? Ad lib, fly by you, I don't know, fly by whatever. Yeah. And this is another part, the, the guys on the on the fan page who've been trying this by themselves. This is a tricky part. Rubbing off the back of the gumpy paper. Rub just that little bit too much and whoops, your history. It's gone, you know. Mm -hmm. so. And as they were saying that the guys who've been trying this, there's no ex there's nothing except experience, you know, the only thing. You have to go through here right and pull it off. Look at this. It's coming off yeah. pretty well. Yeah, they've said nice peel. Did a smooth one. And uh, can I see the brand of wood glue? Does, um, it's a Japanese it brand. It's a Japanese wood. It's just normal white white glue. Yeah. Except I know this is actually a fairly weak type. I know this is a, what's it called? I know fast, fast drying. drying. Fast drying. So it's five minute drying. So just a normal five minute drying polyvinyl glue. It's nothing special. It's not made for printmakers. It's you know nothing at all. And the, the, the key point, and you can only just try this, try this. If you make it too strong, then it leaves. Just a minute. Let me keep quiet here while I do this. Yeah, we're getting a good, what did they say, good peel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. I think a lot of those guys who try and print, they're frustrated because they can't get good gumpy paper. Hmm. I had teased a while ago, not teased, I have talked about what we were, we thought we had found a good supply of a really nice quality gumpy paper, but it, uh, it didn't come through, so I had talked about it too soon and people were hoping we'd be able to have it available. Oh, yeah. So not as soon as I had hoped, but it's it's on it's coming one day. But, uh. Hey, coming up all today. Good. Look at this 
postage stamp image. It should be carved. <laughs> also, did you see the you know, postage marking? It's a commemorative marking. It's not just a typical post office. You know. Right. It's commemorating some <laughs> naval battle between Japan and the Russians. It's like, we really <laughs> want to be talking about this. No, I don't think so, but whatever. <laughs> It was big news in 1906 or whatever it was when this thing was made. So, so we'll just pretend that's not there. All right, I think we're just about ready here. Good. Let's see, uh, I had an idea trying to use printable transparencies for this part. Clear, so no rubbing off. I wonder. Hmm. Printable, as long as it's not too thick, you know, whatever you can use. I know, I know, when I first came to Japan here about 30 years ago, the, the guys in the Crafts Association, they were using what's called, I know, strip film. Hmm. It was a kind of film which had a celluloid sort of thick base, then a very thin layer of film that was sensitized. You put it under camera, shoot it, and then paste it on the block, pull off the back. It's sort of like this. Hmm. Instead of gumpy paper, you're left with a really, really thin plastic film. But it was too thick. You, you can feel huh. the thickness under your knife, you know, and what you see is a line. If your knife has a bit of an angle, you're in the wrong place. So. Okay. Okay, anyway, we're ready to carve, but we're not because I have to sharpen up. My knife is broken from yesterday's rough carving. And i got to sharpen before we start, which is fine because that's uh, something to show. Here we go. Get the camera moved around again, do I? Or can I move into where the camera is? If I do it that way? Yep, that's looking good. There's a good place here. Somewhere on there? Mm hmm Almost every time I do this, we get comments, you know. Yep. Let's see. That you don't need to put water on a, on a steel stone. <laughs> but I like it. Yeah. Is it okay to ask questions during sure, this? Sure, sure. Okay. Whatever, whatever. All right. Let's go ahead. Got, um, is there no version of the print without the stamp on it that you found? I didn't really look around too much. Just that copy in the Boston Museum of Fine Art seems really clear and clean. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't poke around too much. Should I have? Okay. I don't know. Okay. Um, Somebody can <clears throat> find it now. Thanks a lot. You know, so. so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dave, you should start to rebrand the glue as uh, Mokuhan Khan Woodblock Glue and distribute it worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sylvian. <laughs> well, we don't want to make things more difficult. You know? yeah. <laughs> Try to limit the difficulty of what's going on. Westwind77. The stream and the fan page, they're really giving me the itch to start carving for myself. Then do it! Do Good it! Good creep! What <laughs> can I say, you know? That's the idea. Do it. It's fun, you know, actually. I'm still having fun after 99 years doing this. <laughs> so I should be taking notes. Well, you'll be able to rewatch the video anytime once you get it up. And That's what me. do you always say about taking notes? <laughs> Should be carving. Yes, do it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You know? I can't emphasize it enough. Don't worry about the official tools, the official anything. You know, just the first few prints I made were literally was just what was in the house. You know, mm -hmm. I was Exacto knife or whatever the brand name is called. You mm -hmm. know, piece of wood literally from the stack that was waiting to go in the fireplace. Literally, ah. the guy upstairs had been doing some renovations and bits of wood left around, and they had a fireplace upstairs. We were living in the basement. So the, the wood that was waiting to go up into the fireplace was stacked in the basement. I asked him, well, can I steal some? He said, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So I just grabbed a piece. It was maple, the first one. The worst, worst possible wood for this kind of work. But it didn't matter. The only way to find out is to just try it. Just do it. I had no pigments, no barren rubbing tool. I used a uh, shamoji. I know, what's, what's uh, the rice, the rice, rice, rice scoop. Yeah, rice, rice paddle, scoop. whatever yeah. you call it. Rice <laughs> paddle, yeah. yeah. And people ask me, you know, can I see that very first print of yours? And if I had it, I would show it. But I don't have it because I made like one or two copies, one or two, you know, proofs right. or whatever, and then threw it away right away. <laughs> but I've got number two, three, four. I've got those. And actually, they're on my website somewhere. You know. okay. But the first one, I, I would really like to have it, but I just don't have it. Hmm. 
I was kind of shocked, you know. My God, look how bad it is. I thought it was going to be simple. <laughs> well, really, really, I thought it was going to be much simpler than it was. Piece of right. wood, piece of color. I mean, how, you know, what, you know, what could go wrong, you know? So. Yeah. All right, I think we're close. If I make it too sharp, it'll just it'll just break straight away. I'll spend all morning sharpening instead of carving. Hmm. What do you know about origami? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> this question. All right. <laughs> you're asking me, you're asking you. Yeah, no, I'm asking you. They, so does gumpy paper fold well compared to thicker washi? He's thinking of using it for origami, but I don't know. It's no like idea. tissue paper, right? Yeah, it's you know? so no, thin. No, 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 no. It's here. It's this stuff. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. I don't know if you can see it. I know I'm way in the back, but it's well, very, like, very like thin paper. Of, it's like a piece of Kleenex. You can't yeah. have origami with Kleenex. Yeah. I don't think it'll hold its... Uh, Hold that shape very well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Looks like someone may have found you a copy without <laughs> <laughs> without the stamp. Oh no, nope, that one's got the stamp too. So that was the one from the Museum of Fine Arts. Probably yeah. just sending the link because you mentioned it. Yeah, so there's yeah. the one from there. Well, I've got. Should I pop it up here? I've got the actual. Uh, for people that you know are new here, who don't know what we're, what it is we're going to be doing today, is the. Uh, where is it? I prepared it. Today. Where is it? I seem to have lost it. Okay. Oh, it's in the other window. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let's pop it up here. Just a moment, please. I thought I was going to have everything all prepared and ready. It'll come in too big. I'll have to shrink it down. Hang on a sec. Here it goes. This is the target of today's project. Leave it there for a few minutes. Okay, yeah. is that all right? Yeah, perfect. Complete with postage stamp. <laughs> what brand are these diamond stones? What does that I don't mean? know. I'm sorry. I have no idea. They're, they're not s special. They're nothing to do with wood box printmaking. They're just, just sharpening, sharpening stones? stones. Diamond plates. It's probably called diamond rat or something. I'm sorry. Yeah. I really don't know. I use a, I use a four hundred and a one thousand. Okay. And I know people tell me you don't need to use them with water, but it just feels so nice to me to, to have it that way. So. Now what I'll do? We had trouble with the focusing here, so what I'm going to do, even though there's not so super fine lines on here, I'm going to put my scope in the path here. And what that does is it, it'll help me see things too, but what it will do really is it uh, puts the focus in one place. In other words, that's where I'm going to start carving. So I can zoom in up to the point where we lose focus. Does that look pretty good? It's looking sharp to me. It's looking sharp? Okay, let's start this thing. Where should I start? Let's go. Here we go. Knife to wood. And these lines are not super delicate, delicate, uh, smooth calligraphy lines. They're quite rough and wiggly. And this is why I didn't want to use the Illustrator file that somebody prepared, because it was all smoothed out. I don't want it smoothed out. I want as much as possible to catch the taste of the original here. Mm. So apologies to whoever it was that prepared that for me. But uh, no. There, this corner, it's all wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. What we're going to do is we're going to keep the direction the same. What's the time, sir? Just so we know when we're here actually starting carving. It's 8.19. Alright. Maybe you should have done all that preparation, the sharpening before we started, maybe. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Might regret that later. We'll see. It doesn't matter. It's part of the process. Okay. 
got some questions. Sounds like other people are also using their firewood to get started, so mm. it's always good. Um, how did you first find out about printmaking? What got you into it? Oh. <laughs> Actually, it's not a complicated story. There was a, a gallery in Toronto. I was living in Toronto as a single guy going out to Japanese restaurants most, most nights because it was a cool thing to do. I think that's the sound. And yeah. on the way to one of the... I was just going to dinner one night and I was a bit early. I passed in... I was on Queen Street, I think, in Toronto. There was a little gallery called the Stuart Jackson Gallery. He's still there, different location now. And he had a little exhibition of Japanese prints. He had an exhibition of what's called the Sudimono genre. A little delicate, small scale, beautiful prints. Hmm. And he had them on the wall under beautiful illumination. You know, the same way as we do in the shop here. We put a big light at the top and shine it down on the prints and the embossing and stuff really shows up. I knew nothing about it, knew nothing about Japan really. Just I saw those things and thought, wow, that is beautiful. And that was the seed that went into my mind. Now, here's a way to make this up, right? There's a line that goes through the stamp. Yep. So I can just do really whatever I want, right? Sounds good to me. <laughs> make sure I know where I'm going. I've got to end up at this spot. So let's, let's uh, where? Here we go. Wiggle a bit. Keep an eye on where I'm going. Are we going to get there? Look at this. Hi. Oh, we come together. This is so. Anyway, long story short, I just saw some prints there, and uh, it stayed in my mind. And later, uh, a year, two years later, after that, this is in the mid 1970s. Hmm. I just thought, oh, I think I'd like to try making one of those things that I saw on the wall that day. You know? So I did. And as I said that, that previous story, it was a disaster, absolute disaster. In sense of it didn't look like the ones I had seen on the wall. Ah, uh, yeah. But the memory was there, so I tried again, tried again, tried again. Here I am, like 40 odd years later, still trying again. So, hmm. The results are a little better these days. <laughs> a little better. Hmm. Um. We got a question about whetstones, yeah. mm, but as in W H E T stones. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so. And the I know just a minute ago you said you aren't sure which brand. So here's his question though. It says which mine is Dave Stone? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. <laughs> people, we talked before. People do do that. I don't know. Actually, not so much anymore. The, yeah. The the guy who helped me a little bit, Ito Sam, mm. he was working at that level, you know, and he had a bunch of different stones in his toolkit. And depending on the, oh, here we are, another, we've got to come through, right? And depending on the kind of steel, he would, as he got a, a new knife from the, you know, the, the guy who made knife blades, he would try out sharpening the knife on different stones from different mountains, literally. Wow. No, there's no way I'm working at that level. Just, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not. I don't have that experience. So yeah. We're talking about a guy who'd been doing this for 50, 60 years in a real severe traditional situation, you know, mm. working with tools that had some, Consistency, you know, we now, our tools have no consistency. The paper I get, the wood I get, the knives I get are just, they differ from batch to batch mm. so much. So I will never have that ability, you know, we need this mountain and not even this mountain, it was which strata from within which mountain. Wow. And you can Google this up, there are people, for example, the Miyadaiku, the guys who are doing the shrine carpentry work mm -hmm. uh, with their plane, plane blades, and plane blades are so wide. You know, they really need a certain type of stone to sharpen them. Right. And those guys, the better ones, they're working at this level. Wow. You know, which mountain, which strata, which which year it was excavated, all that sort of stuff. Wow. You know? But this is, that's totally, absolutely beyond me. I don't yeah. pretend anything at, at that level. Hmm. So, you already answered his next question too. Is, do you have any in-depth knowledge about Japanese stones? There seems no, to be lots no, of no, dubious no. information online. So. Whatever, I, I'm the wrong guy to ask. And I'll talk to somebody, <clears> and I'll whatever, who has experience, uh, but don't worry about woodblock printmaking, look for carpenters and stuff like this. Hmm. Yeah. And the, the best, the ones with the most critical there are the plane, people using planes, wooden planes, with their big wide blades. Hmm. Those are the guys who really, really, really have to have prime stones okay. in, in good condition. Got it. Our blades are so small that really anything is okay, it doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. This is a, another question I think we've heard before, but <clears throat> about wood types. <laughs> um, Dead Steve asking, question, or he has a choice between... Dead Steve? 
And that's the the character's oh, name. Okay. They're not who, character, who the character. The, the, the right. username. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Uh, English oak, birch, hawthorn, and something else, and he doesn't know what to carve with. So what other woods, besides mountain cherry, which you can't get, might be suitable? You know, Do you know? Well, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to waffle, because it all depends on one, what kind of results you want. You know? For us, I would say all the ones in that list that I have experience of are not going to be suitable for me, because hmm. we're looking at a very specific end result in mind. For someone in that situation who's just starting out, what's your goal? You know, yeah. to make a beautiful Utamaro, beautiful woman print, or just to learn a little bit what this is about and to get a feel for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to waffle. Anything. Start with whatever you've got at hand and try it. Mm. And I really can't say more than that. People are asking, Dave, no, no, say more, say more, give me more information. And I don't. I don't. I don't know. Just try, and, and if you're interested, you'll try it again, and as you try again, you'll learn what you're trying to do, and what wood works, and what wood doesn't work, and there's no substitute for that experience. Hmm. I think you know, on the fan page, there's uh, the young person from Mexico who's trying this, picked an extremely, extremely detailed image, the mountain scenery there, yeah. and he's trying to carve it on sheen of plywood, and it's turning out to be really quite difficult, you know. And whatever, this is all experience that's 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 coming up. Okay. Thanks. And for those in the chat, I'm we're getting or it's a lot more active than usual. So mm. if you really for sure want your question answered, send it to an email because I will be checking those a bunch. I'm trying to catch up in the okay, in the I, chat, but okay, should I pop send the that email. In a second? I can pop this in for a moment. Okay. Bingo. Okay. Thanks. So let's leave, let's not leave it there for too long. Sure. So it just uh, gets noisy. But right. But just for a little bit. Um, let's see what else I can catch up. We got a question. Do you ever do prints of Japanese legends such as the forty-seven Ronin or the samurai Miyamoto Musashi? I haven't done. I mean, at the moment we are just full and full and full. And you know, I'm not. Maybe somebody's yeah. confused. They're looking at me as an artist who who draws things. Right. No. Yeah. Our, our, images you found. our life and our work right now is completely circumscribed. And there's a million themes and stuff we could be doing, hmm. but we're just booked up morning till night with the jobs we have on our, on our plate right now. Jed, every few days or weeks, he Skypes me with an idea for a new series and stuff we could be doing. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is Jed on today? Have seen I haven't him? seen him yet, but it's Sunday. He comes in pretty often. It's Sunday evening. He may be yeah. there. So. True. It seems insane to me. You can get this done in ninety minutes. Jeez. Well, again, I don't know. Please don't focus on that. You know, yeah. I took twenty minutes to sharpen there. So I don't know whether it's going to be done in ninety minutes or not, I don't know. This is not the goal. Clock ticking down. Will he make it? Will he make it? Yeah. That's not what we're doing today. Please don't focus on that. Yeah. We're here today till it's finished. That's all. Hmm. Just I simply thought this looks like something we could do in a normal Twitch stream. That's all. Hmm. Did you have a sense of how many people are watching today? Or you can't um, tell from there? Right? Can't tell from here. Does anyone else have an idea? It looks like there's a way uh, through the API to, to find out, but didn't have enough time to set okay. that up. But, but I hear in, during this stream, normally some people say, it looks like there's X number of people on. How oh. do they know that? How do you know? <laughs> Someone help us out. <laughs> it says 161 right now. But where, like, where? where is that information? Where is it mentioned? <laughs> There's a little person icon. Hmm. Maybe it's not on the streamer side of things, or maybe I'm just not sure where to look. You're on what? Just you're in Chrome on the Twitch app, right? Mm -hmm. Not not app. Oh, the Twitch the... page though, yeah. and it says. Okay, so it's 
on the main page showing what videos we have, it'll be over there. So I'll take a look, but not cut mm. off the stream. I'm gonna muck around, but it's not. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Looks like we got some more emails. Oh. <clears throat> Someone said, I can tell I'd already love to purchase a print of this carving. Is it a limited time purchase? Do you need to do anything special to get one in the future? You talked about some options, but what have you Well, this, this could go in catalog. Assuming it works out okay and we can print it well, it'll go in the catalog. It'll just be appearing in a few weeks in our catalog. And it'll be in the Hunger Club series, which means it'll be probably $30. Hmm. But it won't be tomorrow. You know, I've got to get it. We'll have to make a story for it, get the lady to prepare packaging for it, you know, stuff like that. Right. No rush, and it won't be limited edition at all. It'll just, just be another item in our catalog. So, okay. Uh, this is a public domain image. The uh, the designer died in 19, 1910 or 1912. I forget. We looked it okay. up. Okay. So it's in public domain. So anybody's free to make their own reproductions of it, but we're going to do ours. Okay. Thanks. As to the, the copies I make today, I don't know. Whatever. We'll talk about that later. Uh, I'm going to make. I've got ten sheets of paper warming up. Hmm. ready for this. So today we're hoping to get all 10 of those printed. Uh, whatever. We yeah. have some, we have some tests and whatever. Yeah. So there's 10 sheets of paper. That should be enough to get some testing and get a couple of prints. Okay. And what to do with those, I don't know. We'll chat about it later. Or something. Yeah. People have noticed the name Sesaragi Studios um, used on the YouTube channel. Is that mm. the name of your old studio or another That's, name? Yes, when I moved to the house in Ome, I used to live in an apartment in another town in Japan for about 15 years, the first 15 years I was here. And just about the year 2000, I got a chance to buy buy a house which had a big, huge space in the basement. It was a four four story building. And the bottom two stories were, you know, workshop space. And I had a chance to buy this place. And he was a desperate to sell it. I had money at the same time, just having finished the 100 Port series. Right. So I bought it. And it abuts on a river. There's a river right in the back. There's no backyard. There's the river. I look out my window and, and uh, see the fish swimming down the bottom. Hmm. And in, J in Japan, the word sesedagi is, uh, I don't think it has a direct translation in English. English. It means the sound of shallow water running over rippling stones or whatever. It's yeah, just it's like related to mountain streams. Yeah, so, so, just so. And that was that little so. river behind me was perfect. So I just called my room the Sesaragi Studio. It was before this Mokohankan venture, you know, getting working with other people and mm -hmm. stuff before that started at all. So when I set up the YouTube channel, it seemed sensible to use Sesaragi Studio as the name of the, of the YouTube channel. Okay. But I'm never there anymore, and this is no longer a one-man David shop. This is now Moko Hankan, the, the brand we made for our business. Hmm. And I'm not sure how to, can I rebrand the YouTube channel without deleting everything or something? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't really investigated it, but uh, yeah. it turns out <clears> if, just, if you go to YouTube and put my name in David Ball, bang, it comes up. So hmm. there we are. So. Yeah. You can change the display name, maybe not the URL, but I not sure. So, so, so. Yeah. I just haven't bothered about it. Too. YouTube is so good to us. I don't want to do anything. I'm tiptoeing around. I don't want to do anything that will disturb it or, or cause it to right. reevaluate who we are, what we're doing. Mm -hmm. so. My God, YouTube is good to us. Yeah. Hmm. I've got. Let's see. <clears throat> Where is it? Dave, do you feel woodblock printmaking bridges a gap between artistry and craftsmanship? What are your thoughts on artistry, craftsmanship? Well, the way I look at it, and the way probably many people out in the world look at it, is kind of different. You know, the world looks on Japanese printmaking as one of the extreme artistic creations of all mankind. You know, these, these this tradition of Japanese prints, the Utamado Hokusai mm -hmm. stuff. You know? But from here on the ground, those of us who make them, it's not even art. This is the printing business, you know. In the old days, it was literally, that was the printing business. There were no presses and, and stuff like that. 
and cutting things onto wood and making them like this was the only way to reproduce imagery. Mm. So it wasn't art, it was absolutely the printing business. Mm. And myself, being not an artist in the draw original stuff on sheets of paper sense, you know, I don't draw, I don't, I don't do that kind of art. Right. So for me, absolutely, it's the manufacture that is, it's why I'm here. I like making stuff. I'm a geek, a control freak, whatever negative or positive words these are, I don't know. I just like mucking around with this stuff. And it was perfect for me because not having ever trained myself to draw things, you know, in the sense that someone like Jed has, who's spent all his life drawing and sketching and things like that. Mm -hmm. So for me, the, the manufacturing aspect of this is what's interesting. So the thing itself can be analyzed both ways. We are making, obviously, clearly a piece of art here today, which people will look at as being capital A-R-T. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'm not really interested in that at all. I'm the guy who is you know, translating that person's original conception, this sketch of a woman in the water, which is the art part. I'm the guy who is simply you know, putting all the pieces together, the engineer who makes the physical thing happen. Mm. So I'm an engineer, I guess, actually. I'm curious about this part. There's a, there's a gap here. <coughs> Top left corner. We can ask the stream, there's a gap here in one of these lines. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. And I think it's just on a smear. The, the original offset printing was not done very well. On the top left corner of the print is smear. And I'm thinking this line should go straight through. So I'm going to use my public domain power here. <coughs> Artistic license. Whatever word. I, want to use. I try to avoid using the word art. <laughs> I know. Put me That's back why I mentioned it. it. <laughs> <laughs> People help with exclamation points. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> <laughs> cut it means stop or do no, it? No, I think it means it. cut the line, go all the way across. <laughs> oh, someone previously asked, are you going to carve color blocks as well? But Well, this is, what I'm covering right now is the background color block. This is not the kind of design that has a key block mm -hmm. plus color blocks. This is not ukiyo-e. Right. This, you know, I'm using Japanese traditional techniques here in the sense of wood and paper and the knives and tools. But this is not Japanese art and this is not going to follow the Japanese drawing tradition of having a key block with colors inside. This whole thing is just two color blocks, which is why I said I thought I could do it in, in you know, a one single string. Yeah. So no, this is what you're seeing me carve right now is the block that will print that background watercolor. And I have a separate, we'll get to it in a few minutes, I have a separate block for her hair. And I may or may not carve the signature. I haven't decided. You guys can think about okay. how I get there. The fact that we're cutting this at the original size of the, same size as the original, means we have to slightly think a little bit about the fact that we're not making a forgery. Because mm -hmm. this is going to clearly be a new a new thing on fresh paper, freshly printed, and away we go. But right. when you do reproductions of old stuff, if you do it at exactly the same size as the original, hmm. follow the same color schema, include all stuff like those signatures and things, then although we are not going to try and pretend this is an original, at some point the stuff we sell gets out into the market and people might be thinking, oh, oh hey, wait, look, this is a... Meiji. Yeah, whatever, at some point down the line once the paper <coughs> is in it. So I do that. When we made that Hasui reproduction last year, that pagoda in the rain, I left off the Hasui signature. Even on the original mm -hmm. Watanabe version, the Hasui signature was carved in the blocks. Right. Hasui himself never sat there and signed 10,000 prints. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. but in order just to make sure that nobody down the line would be confused about it, mm -hmm. I left off the signature. So I think I might do that this time. It's, it's an unreadable scribble anyway. And it, it, <laughs> you could argue that it's needed for balance. You know, the bottom left corner, that little black blob, it balances well. But I, I'm not so sure I buy that argument. I think hmm. without it, we're okay. Yeah. So my current thought is I'm going to leave it off. Dave's just bullshitting here because he's thinking I'm going to run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> question. Any plans on continuing work on the Takoto Ama prints? Yes, of course, of course, of course. It's it's always on my schedule. Every yep. day it's on my list of things to do, and almost every day other work gets prioritized. Mm. 
you can you can actually you can answer this one because you're the guy here who is supposed to be taking all the work off my desk yep. letting me get back to the office <laughs> yep and you can explain what goes on here every day you know and why that's not happening right now because <laughs> even as we take off some of the orders and other things there's always another thing that you you end up doing <laughs> instead because there's constant orders print parties yesterday you had how many i did six yesterday six so, print parties so, so. They're fun, but doing six in a row, that's exhausting. Yeah. That's what it, sounds yeah. Like. it was um, fun. It was a ton of fun. Yeah. And the reason I, I did parties is because we don't have competent staff to do them. Enough competent yeah. staff to do them. Yeah. So we're hiring? <laughs> staff for print parties? Right? Okay, do you see what I've done here? I've cut all those horizontal lines, the one face of them. I had the block just, instead of rotating the block, I cut one side, one side, one side, one side of all the horizontal ripple lines. I'm not going to turn around and work my way back down. Hmm. I'm saving the woman for a bit later. So how long? We're timing this. What time did I start? Eight forty. About, about twenty so it minutes. Took twenty yeah. minutes. So it's going to be twenty more. So I doubt we're going to do this in ninety minutes. You know, obviously, yeah. call that time we waste, wasted at the beginning sharpening. But anyway, who cares? We're here till we're till we're done. Okay. <clears throat> Someone asked, "Do we have a ten o'clock print party today?" Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, but it's not me. Kawaii-san. Oh. Okay. Kawaii-san and Doi-san are here. Okay. You're off the hook. Okay, we've got a um, quick question. What can you tell us about Tanuki Prints? Do you know about Tanuki Prints? You, you mean the, the brand name Tanuki Prints? John Amos's brand is the name of his that studio? Or do you mean prints that have Tanukis in them? I don't know what That's you That's a good mean. question. He put it in quotation marks and said, they're interesting. So I I don't know much about Tanuki Prints. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Either kind. I, I don't want to get too distracted here. If you yeah. wrote right beside you, there's a book on Kyosai. It, not that one. No. It's a hardbound book. Okay. No, it okay. should be. There it is. There it is. That's the one. Yes, yes, okay. yes. <clears throat> if you flip through that, you'll see yeah. a bunch of prints, Kyosai images. He did a bunch of prints taken picturing some tanuki grossly misusing their uh, certain part of their anatomy. Ah. And this, I suspect, is what our our person is asking about. You'll see them. There's about three or four pages of them. Okay. They're, they're towards the other end of the book, the front oh, okay. of the book. You're at the wrong end. Somewhere around there. Okay. Seeing some animals here. You might not even recognize them for a pair of them. No, Patton, back. Could be back okay. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just it'll, unfamiliar it'll with the book. It'll so. give me an excuse for not making my 90 minute self imposed deadline. <laughs> <laughs> here, here, here. These things. Okay. It's those two pages and the next two pages. And the thing you're seeing is the Tanuki um, um, ball sack. Okay. But uh, I don't know. You're not going to be able to show the people on the stream. So unless you can find a link to it, I don't know. Whatever. So. But yeah. is that what he's talking about? Tanuki prints? I don't know. Well, have to find it. Yes. So, yes. That is what he's referring to. They are interesting. Yes. Indeed. It was a, just a sort of a joke genre, you know, a, 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 a meme. It was a meme of the day. Absolutely. That's huh. the best word to use to describe it. Huh. And Kyosai took the meme and said, I'm going to run with this and look what I can do. And, uh, and he Go did. as crazy as possible yeah. with it. Huh. So for those who are curious, Kyosai Tanuki Prince. Go uh, Google it up. Go, so, go, so. go looking for it. <laughs> And when you first see them, you don't actually realize what you're looking at. But, and some uh, of them, it almost looks like a blanket. <laughs> or they've made one. Did you see they, there's a guy who's imitating an elephant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a meme. Absolutely, it was a meme. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> People are going to say, this can't be an original. It doesn't have the stamp on it. The, yeah, the so, postage well, stamp. Uh, just remember, the stamp yeah. was uh, this, these were postcards. Remember. <laughs> yeah. Also, too, I don't know if I mentioned the original, the one in the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. It's not a woodblock print. Really? It's not. It's a it's a litho offset. Hmm. It's an offset litho postcard. It was a group called the what was it? A Nihon Hagaki Kurab or something. Oh yeah. Japan Postcard Club. And I don't know too much detail about it, but it would have been. The guy who ran it must have simply contacted different artists and also tried to get subscribers and put it together as a package and mm. people probably subscribed and got a couple each week or month or whatever yeah and they would have either collected them or they would have done what the owner of this one did put a stamp on it and send it to somebody you know they may have sent them back and forth to each other stuff yeah. like this hmm. the japan postcard club 
interesting. So this was used. And the fact that it's got a commemorative stamp on it, you know, it's one thing you go to the post office. You don't just drop it in your, your post box. You, you try and get it. So this is kind of overlapping into stamp collector's territory. Mm -hmm. And it was nothing to do with wood pot printmaking. Okay. I've seen some of the other ones they did, and they're very much Art Deco or Art, art Nouveau. I don't know quite the difference here. Art, art Nouveau hmm. thing. And they're early. These are 1906 and 1907 and stuff. So this is, I don't know, uh, what's the word? This is pioneering stuff, actually. Yeah. All right. But no, it wasn't a woodblock print. We're up to 179 viewers, in case you can guess. Yeah. Um, you were mentioning earlier how it can be confused with originals since it's the same size. People ask, don't you put a stamp with the, the bot end mark or Mokuhankan or some other way to identify it as your work? We do that on prints that are large enough where we can do that mm. where it, without disturbing or destroying the image. And on the postcard prints we publish, I say postcard size, the, the hunger club right. ones out there, they're too small Okay. and it's too in, too intrusive and too disruptive. Things like the heroes prints, of mm. course, they're they're embossed with the name of the carver and the printer. Yeah. A lot of our Mokuhankan prints have Mokuhankan embossed into them. But these are too small, so no. So just okay. It's too disruptive. Yeah. Good. Am I on screen? I keep moving around. I'm not sure. Let me know if it yeah. know, wanders too far off yeah, or something. It's or looking, out of focus or... looking great. This is a few seconds behind. Yes, yeah, so. I saw that. So. Kryptonic Legend says, <laughs> Whoa, this is the first time I've been able to watch you live. I'm so excited. <laughs> so he watches the replays, but hasn't ever had a chance to catch you live. So. I'm live. I mean, I live live. What, what... <laughs> <laughs> but I mean... <laughs> Actually, look, you disappoint him. It's not live. It's three second delay. Oh yeah. Not that we haven't said that. It's Twitch. It's Twitch's yeah. system. Yeah. So what you're seeing, what Cameron is seeing in his stream window, right? And what he's seeing in real life, my mouth is moving in blah 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 yeah. different different patterns. So. What is it about three seconds? Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't think that's a specific delay, like for legal reasons or anything. I think it's simply that's how long it takes the thing to get processed and sent up and, and sent yeah. out. You know? Makes sense. Um, let's see. <laughs> and from all right, it says, any chance of offering first refusal to buy one of tonight's prints to the idiot who made his illustrator files too smooth to use? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not in trouble for this, am I? I know. I didn't even take the, take the time and trouble to write to the guy. I'm sorry. No, he's got Kevin, a smiley Kevin face. He's, he's joking around. Corkman1989 is the, the username. But. <laughs> and I hope it's understood. You know, I just wanted to work as closely to the original as possible. I didn't want another translation in the middle of it, you know, so. Hmm. That's funny. As far as the prints that we make today, I don't know. Let's, let's, when we get closer and we see how they're working out, let's think about that. Uh, okay. I don't want to sort of make money on it. I don't care about that. You know, people who've been good fans on the Twitch, if we're going to get, say, five or six nice prints today, maybe we should just do a drawing or something or yeah. send an email to the... Or, or or what if... No, we shouldn't do this. I think out loud. What, you know, <laughs> all the people who had sent questions in draw among their names or something. Yeah. But hmm. that might result in a little flood of... <laughs> a, I don't flooded know, so, inbox. Whatever. I don't, I'm open to suggestions. Whatever. Let's see what yeah. happens during the stream. You, okay. you have ideas or people have ideas. Yeah, I know. I'm not say. so interested in selling them. I know we've had some great fan support since this stream started, mm -hmm. and if we could maybe send these out, without, you mean the first few? Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. They, you know, without upsetting other people or you know something like that. I don't know. Yeah. I'm open to suggestions. Okay, but I don't care about selling them. Let's let's uh, make this a fan thing. You know, cool. and we can write on the back of each one: Twitch live, Twitch stream. You know, 
Yeah. I can I can sign them actually right here. Assuming they come out. Yeah. Know, actually, I mean, I'm getting a bit ahead of ourselves. You know. <laughs> we can write number one, number two, number three, Twitch live stream, you know, January 9th, whatever it is. Hmm. And write that on them in the stream so people can see it. Right. Whatever. But, see what happens as we get to it. Yeah, I'm assuming we're going to get some prints, but, uh, you know. Yeah. Let's see. Um, how do you know how deep into the wood to cut? What is the Goldilocks zone? Where's Where it's the perfect depth? Because I know we've talked about sometimes being too shallow, sometimes being yeah, too deep. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the ones I'm cutting right now, they're just V-cuts, obviously. We, you know, once I get into an open area, the rule is simple. The wider the space, the deeper you go within you know, the limits of what you're doing. Right. Max we'd carve, I would carve as three or four millimeters max anywhere. Mm. These ones are just, you can see, it's a V-cut going in. It's probably half a millimeter down, I don't know. And again, this is a question that it, it, it depends. There's no single answer because uh, we got this upstairs. John Sam brought those blocks for uh, a Sugasan to carve, you know, a Sugasan to print. Mm -hmm. And she's complaining bitterly mm -hmm. that they're too shallow. And he said, I tested them, they're okay. And he tested them with a piece of copy paper with a flat, smooth <laughs> surface and no barren pressure and doing just one or two copies. Right. And she's doing it now, real printing, using much more pressure. She's using a softer paper, which pushes down farther. Right. And she's doing like 100 copies. So it's go, 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 go. Pigment builds up. So what he thought was fine for him, just as a single test, she's complaining bitterly because it's hmm. blotching all over the place. So there's no single answer. It's the Abraham Lincoln thing, you know? How long should a man's legs be? <laughs> long enough to reach the ground. How long should a man's legs be? That's, that's supposedly, yeah. that's what he, he people, because he was a tall guy, yeah. I think, he got whatever, I don't know the background to the story. Yeah. The apocryphal or something. Like mm -hmm. um, then another question. Dat bat one two three four. Is there any finishing work like polishing or sanding that is done, or is it straight from the carving bench to the printing bench? Straight. There's nothing. No, nothing. We don't muck around with the wood at all. We mm -hmm. don't seal it. We don't finish it. We don't do anything to it. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. And the wood itself, before we start carving, is in the same. Case. This is raw wood. Mm. It's plain. Zap comes off the plane. And the deal of the hand plane, shoop, 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 plane it down smooth, over to the carver. There's nothing. You saw me moisten it before I put the, before I put the you know, tracing down. That was simply so that the glue doesn't kind of sink into the wood too much. Because if we do have a glue on there, it's disruptive to the printing. It yeah. seals the top of the wood, and the pigments don't uh, absorb properly. So the simple answer is no, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Now, having said that, modern people working with stuff like sheen plywood and whatever, I've heard that they do sometimes. They get a, a white glue, like the one we used here. Right. Put it in a cup, mix it with water <coughs> a little bit, and brush this onto hmm. the wood as a sort of some kind of sealer. Hmm. But I have no experience. I'm not re recommending that. I don't know what it is. I'm just pointing out that some people do that. In our classical tradition with cherry wood, it's raw all the way. Raw yeah. all the way down. Um, I don't know if this is the person who created the bot, but they're, they're I'm behind a little bit on finding out what do they want to do with the the prints that might be done today. Saying, oh, you could send them to helpful people like the one who did the bot. And yeah. stuff. So, yes, of course, of course, yeah, of course. That's what I said. Been a big what, help. What yeah. of, so, you know, send me the suggestions, whatever. Yeah. <coughs> he was here a few weeks ago. Oh, really? Yeah. I must have missed him. But. <clears throat> I think he left Japan, uh, I saw uh, in yesterday's stream, he was in yesterday's stream, and he had just left Japan to go to uh, New York or something. Oh, wow. Interesting job. I guess he, he said that his employer thinks he's in New York, so he has to be available New York time. But actually, he just wanders all over the world. Yeah. Because it's all his job is 100% uh, online. Oh, wow. So his employer doesn't need him physically to be there, but he's got to be available New York time. Huh. So no matter where he is in the world, and he was talking about this yesterday, he said, no matter where I am in the world, I have to keep my, my body and work time and zone yeah. on New York time. Wow. So, okay. Oh, they're, they're happy. The 0.5 millimeters up to 3 millimeters is a good answer, someone said. It, but again, for me, for the kind of wood we're using, for the kind of printing we're doing, for the kind of paper we're using, it's yeah. a totally different answer for somebody else. Mm -hmm. But at least gives a little bit of an idea. You know, if you're getting blots, you're too shallow for the kind of 
printing skill you have, you know. Hmm. Let's see. How many different knives do you use normally? One. Next question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Um, no, no, I got to qualify that. Don't know. If, if, I don't know. Actually, let me back up a bit. Don't know. This stream so far, the, our channel has been about me. This is Dave Bull, you know, with his little Twitch stream channel. Mm -hmm. There's been requests, and this is also a request from me, that I would like to go and visit some other workers. Like, we go and visit Askas on the Carver. Right. Get, a, get, a, get his clearance first. Put the camera up, and we'll run the camera, and just we'll do a stream watching him carve. And if he's cool for it, asking him questions while he carves. He may not be cool for that, but whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We watch him carve and I can narrate and talk about what we're seeing. Yeah. And then we would see a totally different thing, you know. That's a real quote, real unquote carver. Yeah. Hmm. In the sense of, you know, trained in a Japanese workshop and stuff right. like that. And we could look at his tools and talk about that. And if you asked him how many knives do you have, he would probably say, I, I keep three close at hand here. And what he's done is he's got I'm guessing three. He's got three of these knives, the same one that I'm using here, but he's got them sharpened at slightly different angles, a bit more acute, a bit medium, and a bit flatter. Yeah. And if he's going around lots of fine little circles and stuff, he'll use his more acute one. If he's doing something that's a whole bunch of straight lines, he'll use the one that's more obtuse right. so that it stays. Hmm. And me, I'm just whatever. I, I have a phobia about having too many tools. And I keep it minimum. And if I'm going to do a job that's carving a whole bunch of straight lines, I will sharpen this suitable for that. Okay. And if I'm going around a bunch of small circles, I'll sharpen it suitable for that. But that's, you know, a bit wasteful. Hmm. So the knife angle is important as far as the type of job that's at hand. And then if the question was a bit wider, how many tools do you have? So he would have pretty much the same as me. He's got like then one or two or three of the cutting knives then he will have two or three of the big clearing chisels that knocks out waste wood. Right. And then we've got five or six or seven of the ice key chisels, the ones that take out the the waste wood at the very end, which you, you'll see me when I get there okay. uh, later on in this process. We don't have a vast tool chest. And in fact, that's something that really, really surprised the first Westerners who were researching this. There was an exhibition in the Smithsonian Institution. It was called the U.S. National Museum at the time. In the 1890s hmm. and they asked a, a bunch of Japanese please send over some tools and things so we can exhibit them together with some woodblock prints that we have on display right and the Japanese side did they sent over the whole shebang a full set of carvers tools full set of printers tools some <laughs> sketches and drawings of how they were used and the American guys got this and wrote back to them and said I'm sorry, I guess there's been a misunderstanding. We didn't mean, you know, like a model toy set showing what this looks like. We wanted actually the real tools and we're willing to pay for them. <laughs> and the Japanese side wrote back, you know, and said, We um, sent you that. that's what you got, you know. Because the American guys couldn't believe that such sophisticated woodblock prints could come from just this little handful of tools stuffed in a cardboard box right. and sent across the sea. And, and that was the real tools, you know. Huh. And it must have gone back and forth for quite a bit before they became convinced that uh, yeah. that that's the real thing, you know. Cool. Let's see. Um, one that is probably more appropriate for later on, but it's uh, might as well ask it now or else it'll get forgotten. How easy is it to get close to the color of the original print when you're mixing the pigments? Oh, it's that's a question. That's a question of whatever. How easy it is it depends on your skill, of course. But right. how important is it? I don't know. I know the original here, as we said, it's a litho. It's not a woodblock print. Hmm. So you've got ink that's sitting up on top of a paper substrate. So the appearance is going to be a bit different. The one I make today is going to be a woodblock print, which is transparent pigments on top of washi. And of course, I'm going to look at the original and slap some blue and slap some green together to right. get something that, hmm, that looks cool, that looks exactly. But am I going to sort of pantone this and try and think about the exact blue-green shade? No, because I don't care about that sort of stuff. And we're looking at a, a different pigment and a different substrate. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm not going to be a clinical in the sense of I've got to, you know, get exactly the same. In fact, I don't have, all I've got is it, it's on my computer screen there. Right. So I'm going to you know, look over the computer screen and mix something and try it okay. that will be similar. Mm -hmm. 
that whole color thing. We had a woman in a print party yesterday who was, her job was, she's some kind of, her job is involved with some buzzwords, neurological research, color, the way your brain understands interprets color, color, interprets huh. color, stuff like this. And this is, this is her research field. Wow. And, you know, I, I listened to what she was doing and then, you know, she sort of looked at me and thought that, oh my God, David must be really into this sort of stuff. You know? <laughs> And she might have been a bit disappointed. She was very friendly. We had a good, fun chat. But she might have been a bit disappointed because I said, well, no, I basically don't care about this. And she's like, what? What do you mean? You're making woodblock prints. It's vitally important that they be exactly the right color. <laughs> and again, without being sarcastic about this, right. the different viewpoints. But she had a very scientific viewpoint in that things could be measured and, and, and understood and calculated. Right. And I don't do that. And we don't do this. There's a simple reason. Like the room we're sitting in today right now, there's an LED up on the roof there. Yeah. The light shining on my desk here is an incandescent. Mm -hmm. There's probably some, oh, there's, some, there's a window over there. So there's some daylight mixed some daylight. in. Yeah. So we've got an insane mix of color temperatures here. And I'm mm -hmm. going to do today's test print under a mix, a real mix of those color temperatures. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm looking at a computer screen for my model, which is an RGB readout. I mean, you see where we're going with this. Yeah. What is the... The true color. What is the true color? So what's the base? And then we make the print and we send it off and two customers are going to get it. One customer is going to think, oh, I've got Dave's prints before. Turns off his room lights, go to a north window, opens yeah. the package and looks at it under <laughs> natural light. Next customer is going to open the package under his doctor's office fluorescent yeah. lights and they're going to see something totally different. And I have no control over this and I could care less. I make something that's interesting and beautiful under the way I see it, mm -hmm. and somebody else is going to see it in a different milieu and a different environment. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, not to talk too much, but on top of that, 10 years later, as the paper has softened and aged, and the pigments have blended into the paper a bit more, mm -hmm. it's all going to change all over again. Yeah. So what do I care? I don't care about this stuff at all. Mm -hmm. Just try and do something attractive under my nose at the moment that I make it. Yeah. And she was like, but, 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 but. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um. <clears throat> With blocks like this one, where you have a lot of untouched areas, mm. the big color sections, do you leave the thin paper on after you finish? Does it interfere with the first few prints? No, no, I'm going to wash it. I'm going to wash it off. You'll, okay. you'll see what we get there. So. Okay. So we'll get there. <laughs> it would interfere totally. The, the pigment wouldn't go into the wood. So we're going to mm -hmm. wash it off. Do you know, does the original wood block for the print you're carving today still exist somewhere? If so, where is it? Well, no, you've already, we've already asked. The original yeah. was not a wood block print. The okay. original was, a, right. was an offset litho production. There is no wood block. Okay. Got it. Thanks. Um. Oh, good. The printmaking bot answered a question for us. How do you repair mistakes that <laughs> came in? You repair nicks, stings, and cuts in the block, and there's a blog post about it. But if you want to add anything. Well, we did yesterday's stream. was all, <coughs> was all about this. I did a repair on stream yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah. So check out yesterday's stream. Actually, I need your help, Cameron. Sanford. You have yes. to leave the stream for a minute. Yep. Uh, when I was setting up here this morning, I dropped one of my tools. The little okay. ice key chisel, it looks like this with a little needle. Okay. It went over there. Back here somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. Actually, it may have gone in there, or it may have been, I don't even know where it is. And my backpack was there. It could have actually gone into, into back my backpack. Yeah, so I'm going to check yeah. all the places. I think I found it. Is this the one? Bingo. Thank you, sir. Good, yeah. good, good. Great. That was easy and quick. Yeah. I was afraid it might be in the nether depths of the backpack. So. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problem. Stretch your legs anyway. Yeah. If you need a bathroom break, just do it. You know, no, these people I'm will good. wait. So. How much wood would a wood cut cut if a wood cut could cut wood? I think I'll keep out of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm 
and back see what I've missed. The focus seems to be behaving today. Isn't it? Yeah, it's staying quite sharp. I threatened the camera, you know. <laughs> I said, you know, your your time with us is limited unless you get get on get get on board with the program. Yeah. Know? Don't yes, Dave. Yes, Dave. Yes, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping way back, you asked, do you think... I asked? No. Yeah, it's something you did about, does this add balance, the extra signature? Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, visual you know, balance or whatever. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And some people are saying, yes. One person said, why don't you add a reed into the water or something oh, for balance? Oh, no, okay. Or... No, we're not going to play that kind of game. No, okay, talk, yeah. Talk, Just yeah. reading some <clears throat> yeah. interesting thoughts. Some vote, keep, keep the signature, yeah. some not, so... so. I'm leaning towards leaving it off, but okay. I prepared the hunch step. Yeah. There's a lot of confusion about that in the shop, you know. People look at the prints on the walls, maybe a reproduction of a Hiroshige print from right. 1860 or whatever, and it's got uh, a signature in there and a seal, a red seal on the front, you know. Hmm. And like, I get questioned, what, how, do you, how are you authorized to do this, you know? And, it's a misunderstanding of what it was. Back in the old days, the, the designers never actually signed and sealed the prints, of course. Any signing and sealing was done in the block. You know. hmm. It was just to identify who designed it rather than the signature in the modern sense. You know. right. It wasn't until the 20th century came along, the prints like the Yoshida prints uh, and the Jed Henry prints were making them. Right. We, we make them, send them over to Jed, and he looks at each one and seals it. This is a 20th century. You know. 21st century now, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm glad you found this tool. Yeah, <laughs> glad it's working. All right, that. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Let's see. Are all the tools handmade, or do you buy regular chisels, modify them, or knives, or other things? It's today. The, the bigger stuff I use, the ones you'll see in a few minutes when I'm whapping out the stuff, they're just normal woodworker's chisels. There's not, they're nothing to do with, with the printmaking department hmm. at all. The cutting knife you saw me use for the past half hour or so is made for woodblock printmakers. I don't buy it as a finished tool. We buy the blades. Okay. And we've got our own handle. You make your own handle. In fact, the one I'm using right now, too, I've made the handle. And the blade part of this is a sewing machine needle. This isn't an official authorized Edo era <laughs> official tool. I know somebody somewhere along the line came up with the idea of, of using that sewing machine needle and we did it. Hmm. This one now, this is an actual blade made by a by a you know a metal worker. And we're okay with this. We complain about tools and stuff all the time over here. The paper's no good, the wood's no good, you know, blah blah blah. But in the case of the cutting tools, we're okay. And it's because, you know, there's all different kinds of crafts. As we said, you know, making a shrine carpentry or just normal woodwork. Everybody needs good blades. So there are lots and lots of, of what do they call harmonious sound? What do you call it? Yeah, hardware. Uh, metal workers? No, uh, me metal blacksmith? Is that the word? I don't know. It People could who be. Make, make knife blades and stuff. What, what's yeah. the English word for them? There's lots of such people yeah. all over the country. Hmm. So it's, this is not a dying, dying art or craft at all, you know. And I've read, like, the guys who, carpenters, they complain, oh, my God, the planes are no good compared to what they were in the old days, and blah, blah, blah. We're all saying the same thing. Yeah. But getting getting a blade is not a specific problem for us because it's not just woodbuck printmakers that yeah. use them. So, so that one, we're, we're lucky. Good question. <clears throat> Have you ever spilled food on your work before? <laughs> 
once. Once. Back at the beginning when I was in Canada, looking at some finished prints, and I dumped my coffee on the table. And uh, since then, never. And it's interesting, every workshop I've ever been to, with no exceptions, you know, maybe when I was first there, I visited Matt Saxon or something, you know. Right. And they give me coffee and something, whatever, because you're a visitor, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you can see it. And when the, the guy's got his own tea, he puts it behind him on the floor, nowhere near the bench. Right. And when you're visiting someone to look at prints on a table or whatever, they're still serving you coffee and tea. That goes on a separate side table. Yeah. And it's just a common sense rule. You mm -hmm. don't have a drink on the same table where you're mucking with woodbuck prints. Right. We all learned that lesson maybe the wrong way. You get a stack of 100 prints. And it seems like it couldn't happen, but it will happen. One wrong so, yeah, move. Yeah, one wrong move and you're done. So. Destroyed 100 prints. Yes. So this uh, absolute separation. Hmm. And you see, see Ishkausen upstairs, you'll see her. She and I had a little battle about this years ago, and now she has her tea. And she, to humor me, she has her tea on the floor behind her as far away that she could possibly not reach it. And right. I'll come in the room and she'll look at me and say, see? See. <laughs> uh, it's okay. As long as you're following the, the house rule, I don't care where it is. You know? Yeah. But no tea or coffee drinks on the bench, yeah. period. There's another similar rule too, and this is to do with the knives. I know. <clears throat> this wasn't something I had to be taught, although one of Ito-san did mention it to me one day, but I was onto it. So Ito-san, I'm already onto that. And a lot of us, you know, whatever you're, you're cutting with the knife, like I was a few minutes ago, and you work all day with a knife in your hand. And it's not that you forget it's there, it's that you don't think of it anymore. And maybe you're working away, carving, 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 and you got an itch, and you go reach up to scratch yourself. Oh, no. And then, no, this is a real thing. And yeah. this is not just woodblock printmaking. This is a real thing. You forget you've got the knife in your hand, and bang, you've poked your eye out. Oh. So this, it's a sort of a, a, a rule. You do not ever scratch yourself or come near your face with your dominant hand. Huh. You'll see me now anytime. When I'm scratching myself, you'll see me. I'll do something with my hair with my non-dominant hand hmm. to make sure there's no knife in it. Yeah. And he did mention, he said, have you ever poked yourself with a blade? And I said, no, actually, I, I, I may have done once, but I'm now, I'm hip. Yeah. I'm hip. Do you know what's so, okay. so. <clears throat> so no full plate of soba near the prince, huh? <laughs> nope. No, yeah. Another person works in art framing, and he said, no liquids on the tables. Yeah, I so, guess so. So it's common sense. Probably, you know, yeah, you may learn the lesson once, and after that, because the, the price of disaster, I mean, the, the price of failure is so high. You know? mm -hmm. Then you got the people that work in conservation in the British Museum and stuff like that. You see, they've got videos on YouTube, you know, and, and my God, the tables and the, you know, they're, they're working with, you know, super expensive old stuff. And mm -hmm. obviously, you know, they've got masks. And nothing ever near the, the mm -hmm. work at all. Yeah. Are we done with the ripples? I'm not quite sure. I might be done with the ripples. Okay, let's move on to the body. Okay. We're gonna. We're not gonna get this done in 90 minutes, clearly. But whatever. Who cares? Let's just keep moving okay. here. Um, <clears throat> someone asked Westwind 77 said, "What are everyone's thoughts on the signature?" Since you said, "We'll decide later." So, we've got. I've I've added, or I say, let's add it. Some say, "Okay." My I, thoughts are, I'll let say, Dave decide. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaning towards leaving it off. Yeah, for that same reason I mentioned. You know, this mm -hmm. is clearly not uh, a forgery in any way whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Now, but a hundred years now, fifty years now, whatever, it's a different story. So, right. just to make it clear, what's going on. Yeah. This is not a quote authorized reproduction, you know. This is just we're looking at this public domain image and saying, I like that. Yeah. Huh. So let's just <clears throat> keep the girl and keep the water. Yeah. Some say you could really mix it up. Make the signature the size of the print and the print the size of the signature in the corner of it. <laughs> just totally jumble it up. I don't There's think that'll two. work. <laughs> once we once this goes into our stock for sale, it'll be in the Hunger Club. And each of these prints is uh, c combined with a short story, hmm. which we're not essay, you know, a story and episode. Yeah. So it will be described. The print will be sold with a package which describes who the designer was, mm -hmm. the milieu in which it was made, and that why we're making a reproduction. Hmm. So it's not like we're, we're foisting it off as our own. We will be clearly identifying it right. in the packaging. But not on the print itself. So. Okay. <laughs> 
Some ask, how would you source the blades in the U.S.? Any idea? Is this saying they might know some companies, a place called McLean's. Yeah, McLean's in Oregon has got good stuff there. They're okay. honest people getting good materials from Japan, selling them at reasonable prices. Okay. It's more expensive than in Japan because they're inventorying it, you know, right. warehousing it, shipping it. But it's there in America. so hmm. you know, And they're good people. You can trust them. They're totally okay. They've got a full range, student stuff up to professional stuff. Wow. They don't do it the way we do. Like we just, like I said, we buy our blades from a blade maker. McLean's can't do that. They buy blades from a manufacturer, you know, for 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 woodblock printmakers. Right. And most of the customers for such blades here in Japan are not the pros. They are people, uh, hobbyists or students, advanced hobbyists, advanced students. Hmm. So they don't have any actual fully professional stuff. But there's no way they would have any access to such things. So, but yeah, for for all the people watching the stream, if they're trying it, that's fine. Matsumoto-san here in Japan, he's got a good range. McLean's in America. I think there's a place in Britain called, called Intaglio Printmakers. They're sourcing from here in Japan. Student, high student level stuff. It's not like there's no access. I mean, when I started, put the old man's hat on, when I started, there was nothing, you know, we had to walk 60 days in the snow to get to where... <laughs> blah, 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 both ways. <laughs> So there's tons of stuff available now. And information, my God, so much information. You know. There's no barriers now, zero barriers, except your own personal inertia. Hmm. So you pop up some of those images that I prepared, you know, oh, the people yeah. in the Twitch stream, the Twitch yeah. you know, fan page. I'm not sure the names of these. Let me, let me, <coughs> people who have been, uh, let's see, let me pop this out of the way for a second, the girl. Where did I put it? Oh, it was that one, was it? I shouldn't fool around too much with this. This is these are some images that were made by people on the, the fan group fan page. This was I, I don't remember the names of who goes with this. I'm confused by the Twitch name and the people's name and stuff like this. This was somebody's first print. And where's another one? I know. Well, there's two here. These are similar. These are people who have made prints based on the image that I put in my in the book. In my little book, you know, your your first print PDF. And a couple of people have used that to actually make make their first one. print. Yeah, make their first print, and that's so much fun for me to see that. Here's another one. Somebody's gone a bit to town on this. They've put a bunch of gradations in here. You know. Wow. And this is so cool. It's so cool for me to see this, you know. I'm sorry not to not to know the names of all the people who have made these uh, individually, I'm sorry, you know. This one. I think Jack was really excited when he saw this one. Huh? Let's see when it comes up over here. Wow. And then just the other day, this one came in. Uh tonight, where are we? This one. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to show this. It might be still top secret. I don't know. Look at this. This is a Jed design. Again, this is one of the sketches that Jed did when he was here a few months in ago. In October, maybe? Yeah. He had a watercolor sketch, and he touched it up in Photoshop to make it into flat colors right. and sent it to one of the, uh, the, the twitchers, if I can use that word, you know. So, mm. And here it is. There's, here's the print. Yeah. So this is so cool for me to see this kind of work happening. There's so many people now. <laughs> now it's bottom secret. <laughs> What's that? He said it's top secret, but now he's it's I bottom know. secret, whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I forgot to mention William, William Francis, you know, of course, who's now working like commercially with Jed. Jed's sending him images. It's yeah. either here in the shop or selling them, you know, so. Hmm. We're Cat Wild Sands. Where can you get beginner kits in Australia? Anyone else can help them out? We don't have much connection in Australia. Do you know of anything in Australia? Well, I, I don't know the shops and stuff, but there's a guy you can talk to. If you Google Terry McKenna, 
He's a friend of mine. He's living in Australia, and he has he has actually a woodblock printmaking system there. He's got a school actually. I think I forget where he is, Melbourne or I think he does it in Melbourne and Sydney. He goes back and forth running workshops wow. in both towns. And he may have an online presence for tools as well. I don't know. I don't remember quite the spelling of his name. M small c big K. I'm not sure. Terry McKenna. And he's sort of the guru down there. He's been in Japan, in Kyoto, studying. He's been here visiting. He's making his very nice prints himself. And as far as I know, he's making a living doing this. He brings tours to Japan for people to visit print shops and stuff like that. And yeah. And he would be a, a go-to source. His web page, whatever, would presumably have information on uh, on where to get tools. And maybe he sells them. I don't know. Yeah. I think I just pulled up his page, agaku.com.au. Terry McKenna, Mokuhanga. Mm, he's a real nice guy. Okay. And uh, he's having good fun with the same thing that I'm doing, exploring this craft and disseminating it and talking about it and, and helping people get started. Yeah. The other thing about tools is Matsumura San here in Tokyo, he does ship worldwide. Hmm. You know, the shipping can be expensive, especially if you're buying wood blocks and stuff from him, which is a bit crazy, I think. But, uh, but he does ship globally. Wow. And he sells even plain wood blocks? Matsumura San, like, yeah, yeah. That's his main business. He's a wood supplier. Uh -huh. the, the tools for him was an extra stuff on top of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dead Steve asks, I just noticed you decided to cut with the grain perpendicular to the ripples. Why yes, was that? Yes. Was that deliberate? Yes, yes, yes. Well, sure, it's deliberate. Uh, it's the way we do things is yep. the easy, quick answer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Actually, this is going to be a long answer. I don't know. I don't know. Where do I start? Wood expands and contracts mostly in one direction only. I don't know. I'm speaking of traditional wood that's not the plywood stuff that we have these days. A piece of wood, if you make it wet, as we do when we start printing, it starts to expand as it absorbs the moisture. And it doesn't expand in the, can I say, the up and down direction, the yeah. up and down of the tree. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So along the grain. It does expand across the grain. So this would be the width of the tree. So you can see the trunk expand. Yes, kind of. yes, yes. Okay. So, so on, a, on a wood block like this, if we're going to print many, many, many copies, throwing lots of water on it, the wood bit by bit by bit starts to expand. And it will expand here in, in this direction because the grain mm -hmm. runs up and down here. And the wood will never expand in the up and down version, but it does Got start it. to expand in the cross version. Mm. Okay, put that point on the table and just set it aside. Now, paper. The guys, you've seen videos of people rocking the paper in the, in the tubs, the handmade paper rocking back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Whoa, what time are we? 9.23. Wow! Well, this is not going to be a 90-minute stream, clearly. Oh, anyway, anyway, so that's Kawaii-san coming for work, is it? So. Yeah. Where was I? I forget. Are you disrupting? Talking about the paper. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So the paper, and the paper, because of the way they rock it and make it, it has a grain. Mm -hmm. And it comes to the beautiful point that when you make it wet, it expands the same way. It doesn't expand up and down along the grain, which right. may or may not be visible. Sometimes the grain is clearly visible inside the structure of the paper when you hold it up to the light. Sometimes yeah. it's not. But one way to find out where the grain is is try moistening it because it expands in the side-to-side -side version, the same as wood and trees. So for us, whenever we're making a print, we have to make sure these two things match. And the way we do it is simple. Every print, we put the grain of the wood horizontally on the bench as we're printing it. Whereas this thing is going to be printed, you know, if you can see it horizontally from mm -hmm. you can get it this way. And the paper will go on in the same direction. So that as you're making an edition, bit by bit by bit, things all expand in the same direction. I mean, we're rubbing too with our bearings in a horizontal motion, yeah. which is in the strong end of the paper. Good morning, Kai san Good morning. Come and say hello. Hello. See you in there? Oh, it's it. Hello. Hi. Live. 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 So, in our make a print in 90 minute stream, which is going to turn out to be a make a print in 120 minute stream, or yeah. whatever minutes it's going to be, I have no I idea. Got 
ガチボリガチボリこれこれ作りますガチボリあおはようかわいさんあ<笑>ロおはようございます。Are you spelling his name properly? <笑> Actually, yes. Really? With、yep. one eye? Yep, one eye. Wow. We've got him trained at last. So, ね、危ないですね。あの<笑>そう10時からパーティーえー、とちょっと変な時間帯で。あ、11時半からですね。日本人でしょ日本人で僕が大丈夫です。あ、いいですね。うん。はい。日本人で。あ、はい。いいですね。はい。それで問題なく何の問題なく。そっか、there is no 10 o'clock party. Good, 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 good. That makes it easy. But... And the, there's an 11 30 party, but I'm not on duty for it. It's a Japanese couple, so Kawaii-san will help it. Handle it totally by himself. Yeah. Nice. You don't need this. You don't need this. This is going to confuse people here, I think. Someone asked, Do Dave and Cameron have time if we keep going over 90 minutes? But it's not, like yeah, you just said, here, the print party. We're here for so,、yeah. so, so, so. We're going to get one tiny problem. The girls are going to come soon to go upstairs printing.、Hmm. Uh, they're going to trip over that cable, so we've got to make sure we're、I'll, okay for that. I'll、But、point that out to them、yeah. as they come in. Other than that, that's it. We're just going to keep going until this is done. Or I'm going to keep going. Yeah.、Know. I'm not sure about the old may work, but、uh, whatever. They have lots to do, I'm just telling、yeah. you, even if we don't send the overnight orders out. They have lots to do, so we're okay.、Mm. Since you asked about, did they spell his name right? We've got people saying, Doesn't Kawaii mean cute? And then you don't need me to explain that. Yeah, yeah <laughs> and someone's jumping in. <coughs> kawaii san is kawaii, eh? <laughs>、mm? The kawaii. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Kawaii is kawaii. <laughs> he's mentioned it a million times, and I'm sure he's explained it just as much. But what on earth are these parties Dave is throwing? <laughs>、oh, you can, you can yeah, I can talk about、there. that. Print parties are、um, an opportunity for anybody to come here into the Moku Han Kan shop and experience what it's like to. to Actually, do the printing process. So it's not carving, not what Dave's doing now, but there are blocks that have been、um, carved, and you get a chance to work with our staff and put the, the pigment on and use the paper and do your own prints one color at a time, and you end up with a really nice、uh, print that you've made entirely yourself. So it's a lot of fun. You can Find it on the website and thank you. Someone already sent the link. <laughs> so go check it out. Good morning, Joy san. Hello. We're live here this morning. Did I drop something? I think I might have dropped something, I'm not sure. I think it may have just been the microphone's cable. Are、okay, we okay? The mic is still there?、Okay. Yeah, the mic's still okay?、Mm-hmm. Looks good. Well, here comes s u g a s a n d i s h eh? Hi, Ms. Ima. Hi, Ms. Ima. Sugasan, good morning. Say hello to the stream here. Say hello. 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 Say
So, I know the boss fights. Are you finished today? じゃない。ま、今週中。あの、ジョンさん。あの、何あの、えっとね、正面ずりのもの、もちろん、もちろん、もちろん。はい。じゃ、掘ってくれるのはまだあの、何あの、えっとね、正面ずりのもの、もち
Oh, I think I'll keep quiet then. <laughs> when are we going to hit a million? Yeah, right. <laughs> wow. A tournament. So this is this is esports. Now I guess we're talking about right. Yeah, now, yeah. Right? That's so. what it sounds like. Hongtani TV is dead, isn't it? Network TV. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> ah, there was a question back here, and it says, um, and now I've lost it. <laughs> ah, how did Dave do the tracing for this image? Did you use Photoshop, and uh, or did you use tracing paper? Yeah, well, I didn't did actually trace it myself, because I said right. I wanted to minimize the number of times this was redrawn. Right. Now, as it happens, because this is such a simple image, and it's all visible, I didn't trace anything. I downloaded from the museum. Put it in Photoshop. <coughs> Excuse me. I adjusted the contrast so that it would, you know, the lines, the, the lines right now, the contrast between the watercolor and the background color. I adjusted mm -hmm. the contrast to strengthen those, then just printed it out from Photoshop mm -hmm. directly onto our thin paper. So I didn't trace anything. And this is why, as I said earlier in the stream, the, the young man who prepared the mm -hmm. Illustrator vector file. Yeah. He, you know, actually drew around each of those lines, and I didn't really didn't want to do that. Hmm. I want they're right here. There's these little wiggles all the way through. I want to catch these. So. And I think people watching uh, William Francis's stream the last couple of days, he's carving an old Shunsho hmm. Im image, and he, I think, has done a similar thing. He hasn't traced it. He's taken a museum copy or a photograph or whatever he's got, and adjusted the contrast so that he can see the lines clearly. And he's printed it on thin paper and pasted it on his block as is. So as he's carving, we can see actually, we can see the colors. It's all black and white, it's not color. But mm. So he's cutting through parts of it. He's just choosing and picking what to color. Okay, <coughs> stage two. Scope out of the way. I need my bench dog. Oops, where is it? Something bizarre is happening on the stream. Try refreshing it. Okay. It looks like some face or some image is appearing there, but. You can refresh without it affecting the stream itself. Yeah. So. Are, are other people seeing a okay. flicker? You flicker? Is anyone else seeing a flicker or was that just mine? Okay. <coughs> now I've got to zoom out. I'll get rid of the disruption here in the corner. Move the camera over, maybe. Let's see. Is that going to show it? <coughs> get rid of this. I need to be able to swirl the block around here now. At this point, it's now going to get a little bit noisy. Excuse me. This won't be for too long. Okay. Turn your headphones down. I'll need that, that, and that. <laughs> no, Cameron, turn them up. <laughs> 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 ASMR, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Also, I've got to be careful. I do want to do this on a live stream. I've got the registration mark. So the last thing I want to do is cut those off, which uh, right. I would never, never, of course, never ever do that. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Now we find out if we've got synchronization issues because the microphone and the... Silent. Silent. Yeah. No, they're saying the sync's really good. It's spot on, and they're amazed how 
how close <laughs> that big chisel is going to your lines. <clears throat> and do you ever hit your thumb, they ask. We're here? Like, oh. when hitting? No. Hmm? Have you, have you ever hit your thumb when hitting the chisel? I'm not sure what you mean. I don't... Just like smash it, I guess. No, no, I mean, I... Okay. Never hurt yourself doing it. That's all. I don't know if I use the word never, but yeah. recently, no. Recently, <laughs> yes. I say be careful of the wire. We hear a smash and a crash <laughs> in the background. Boys, I, I told you, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> So we're wired in. We didn't want to use Wi-Fi. So that's the Ethernet cable here today. So, mm -hmm. so it's strong. And we haven't lost it, even when I came in. Yeah, so. <laughs> so listen, can I ask a favor? Mm. I know, can I get a cup of tea? Is it okay if I ask you to get some tea for oh, me oh. from the machine? Mm -hmm. the for, for you? Tea latte. Ah, tea latte. Can I put an order in? Oh, Please. Okay. <laughs> tea latte and, I know, well, it's okay. Please, what do you get? Okay. You know, if this is a Japanese company, you can you just you just sort of snap your fingers, it's, right? I'm, because I'm the shot Joe, whatever, whatever yeah. you want. People, anybody, anybody is sort of there's levels and rankings, mm -hmm. and by virtue of the fact that I own the place, by definition, anybody yeah. is game. You know, tea, please, and they yeah. <laughs> have to You'll do get it. it. But we normally don't play by these rules, you know. I take yeah. my turns cleaning the toilets and everything else, yeah. and go around and around. So I still feel a bit hesitant, you know. Toysan, can I maybe? Is it okay if you please, maybe, perhaps, can you bring Help me some out? tea? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah. he's thinking, why is David so pissy, pussy fling around? Just yeah. ask for tea, Just... and I'll bring it. You know, so. <laughs> Actually, the part about that hitting the thumb, you know, the reason mm -hmm. too, we've got the handle here and I'm holding it really close. Right. So I'm I'm not, you know, we're not talking about a Wild long swing. throw. So, because it's a very small block, we're taking off such a small amount of wood each time. Mm -hmm. So I'm holding it really close. I'm just tapping like this. They couldn't perhaps see this. Yeah. So there's really not much danger of, uh, of hitting yourself, you know. On a bigger block, taking up more wood, you move your hand back and you put your shoulder up there and you wail away, and then there's yeah. a bit more a risk of that sort of thing. So. <laughs> Tea latte and a smoke. <laughs> Don't forget the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the other, so you might need to explain the joke. Yeah. There's probably only five people here that understand yeah. it. The other 195 yeah. people don't know what you're talking about. Right? <laughs> I actually don't either, but I thought it was funny. So. The, we showed that video from 1957. Right. The printmaking process. Mm -hmm. You know, Hasui drew something, sent it to the carver, sent it to the printer. Right. At every stage of the process, Hasui yeah. finished it. The camera zoomed in on him. He pulls out this big fat jumbo and he starts smoking. <laughs> And my son, the carpenter, did the same thing. Yeah. And then when we got to Onosan, the printer, mm -hmm. we're all waiting. Like, okay, light up, light up, light, <laughs> light up. up. We just drink some tea instead. You know? <laughs> and I don't know whether he's a non-smoker or just whatever. Just they didn't catch it on camera. <laughs> and it could have been, I doubt it, but it could have been that when you, if the printer smokes heavily, all the finished prints end up saturated with cigarette smoke. Huh. And we get this from printers whose name I do not want to mention yeah we get a we get a batch they're right there I haven't even opened it yet yeah it's Samus print and when I open them I'm going to be saturated with red smoke hmm. thank you Doyson. Okay. thank you very much and we have to we have to simply air them out and flip them and air them out and flip them and air them out because uh. it's awful because if we don't yeah. the customer gets a finished package from us opens it up and it smells like stale Japanese cigarette smoke yeah it's too bad Carver's it doesn't matter yeah Doyson, I know Ah, come in. Who can reach it? Oh, okay. I bet you that's the 11.30 party. Oh, may this.
あこちらこそよろしくどうぞお願いしますデビットですねはいちょっとっ、no. Cameron, can you tell them what's going on? はい、はいはいはい、もしもしはい、ありがとうございます This is a phone call coming from the Ome Shipping Center. It's the, the lady who's starting today for the first time after the new year. So. I can't see the chat stream while、well, he's off taking that phone call. You're on your own, but、uh, now I gotta clear away a bit more of the wider stuff. This is the most noisy part. Sorry. Once this is over, we're back to the quiet work. This might be bouncing the camera. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. If it is, it, relax, because a few minutes we'll be back to the quiet work.、So. Get back to work. Yep. <laughs> Wood chips way over here. Hey, <laughs> are you getting danger pay today? Yeah. Nah, no need. I can take it. <laughs> okay, write that down.、Hmm? Oh, just a couple quick questions from her. But everything's okay. Everything's okay, not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the missing shipment to France, by the way, they said it's arrived, it's arrived, it's arrived. It did arrive, he got it.、Up. Oh, he did、so、get it. Oh, I'm so glad. It got lost in the system somewhere, but then it arrived. He's really happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you,、oh, thank you, thank you. Good,、so. good, good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Why are they? <laughs> hey. Oh, just watch you. Oh, just watch you, okay. <laughs> ちなみに90分の間にできないんですが、とりあえず、うん、もうもうあれか。スクリーンの作業。あ、right,、I'm back on <laughs>。One of the right notes before the last.
Okay, that's stage two of this block. Stage one was the cutting with the outline knife. Stage two is the clearing with the wide chisels. And stage three now, we'll zoom back in a bit. Okay. Stage three is going to be clearing away. And again, I wouldn't use a scope, but let's do it. I've got to, if I put the scope on, that puts the thing right in one spot. Oh, less here. <laughs> yeah, let's move it up. Just a minute. Hang on a sec while I get the spot. All right. I'll focus on there. Okay. Which I've learned that using under the scope, it gets it exactly in the right spot, but I don't have to worry about if I'm staying in the middle of the camera or something like that. So. Over there. Is it in focus? Okay. Let's Looking go. sharp. Looking sharp. <laughs> the next step are the chisels, these chisels. The ice key, what the, what's the word? Bull, bull nose chisels in English. Bull nose, nothing to do with, I don't know, yeah, nothing no. to do with me. This is out. Okay, let's get to this. The one I need, I missed. <laughs> is that drink on the floor behind you and away from the workplace? It is indeed. You can you can you can verify this. Yep, it's not on the table. Well, for, a, for a carver, it doesn't matter. Right? We're talking about right. prints, stack of finished prints. But here we go. Well, you don't right. want it landing on the wood right. block anyway. But yeah, nice. Huh. Drink break first. Next is pee break. But we'll yeah. hold that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> See how long Granddad Dave can manage this. Okay, let's go. Mm. So here, stage three. You can see we can't get those big chisels right up to the lines, of course. Well, we get pretty close. And this just now pulls away that last bit of wood. Can you hear the vacuum cleaner? Whatever is that? No, no. It's I think not it's too okay. loud. Yeah, so. No one's mentioning it, so. Hmm. David's power tools here. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said, ow, one of those wood chips hit me in the eye because <laughs> they were flying around. <laughs> Oh wait, one person did notice the vacuum. So the vacuum started right when you were zooming in. Thought, wow, that's quite a zoom. <laughs> power, power zoom. Yeah. I hope the store doesn't get too busy this morning at all. Yeah. Well, if people come, just whatever, sit them at the entrance so they can watch. You know, yeah. Whatever. Join history, watch the famous. In fact, we haven't mentioned that word, the BR word, the 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 person who used to make paintings online who did it start to finish oh, in one yes. stream, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I haven't talked about happy little mistakes. We haven't had yeah, any mistakes. Haven't had any happy little mistakes. Don't intend to. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we should maybe, and it's too soon to think about this, but there's any number of relatively simple images that can be done. You know, they should maybe make this a, a regular affair. Dave's annual New Year stream where he makes a print or something. Could, should it become something like that? I don't know. Yeah. Whatever, we'll see. Take yeah. it as it comes. Mm -hmm. We haven't said his name, but now there are lots of pictures of 
a certain <laughs> artist with some exciting where's, hair. Where's my afro? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Actually, without being cynical, the fact that he existed and did that, I think has helped my work a lot. You know, there's mm-hmm. there's the thing that people glom on to, you know. Yeah. If we didn't have someone for, to compare me to, you see what I mean? You know, it, it's, it's cool. <clears throat> yeah. I have no trouble with those comparisons. You know? The guy seems like he was a really cool guy, you know. Yeah. And it sounds like he was pretty good at making money too, I guess, which is something we're not so good at, but whatever. <laughs> Are we okay, am I on stream and focus? Is it all right? It's looking it? great, yeah. <laughs> so Cameron's still a bit back in the chat. You might need to scroll down. Yeah, I'm. I caught up eventually. I had to go take that phone call, so I wanted to see what was going on while I was gone. But um, here, saying you mentioned maybe doing this again, making a, a thing out of it. Yay! Great idea. Annual live stream. So not annual, an annual. What do you mean? We're a daily live stream. Oh yeah, yeah, but an annual um, special. Yeah, start to finish. Special. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. someone said not annual, monthly at least. <laughs> I've got work to do. Yeah. <sighs> um. The Dave Bull in one session series. Oh. Yeah, but the thing is, we need a, such a simplistic image. You know, you can't really do line work plus color separations. Mm. You know, so it's not really something that we should make a major deal. Yeah, this is this image just perfectly suits it. Mm -hmm. But it's not it's not Japanese traditional stuff. So you know, so I don't know. Mm. The Dave Bull Matsuri, that's what this stream is. If you make it a, an event, then it would be the Dave Bull Matsuri. So. Well, what's next? Where am I here? I think that's the inside. I just got to go around. So we're, we're almost finished this key block here. A key block, not key block. This uh, first first block. Yeah. So actually, we're getting along here. The hair block won't take long at all. So those of you who are, you know, thinking, oh my God, when is this going to end? Relax, we're uh, moving right along now here, actually. Huh? over there has it for yeah. a while yep still they're, with us are they yeah they're, they're, so, what so, if we drop down to 10 people still left 10 people still holding on now i think i think i see 208 really if, if that's the most updated one i'm gonna open it in a new window 211 wow um, i think yeah someone said i think dave's used five tools so far in the making of this print that sounds about Right. Well, the cutting knife was one, all right. of that. Then I used... Uh, the sewing needle? I used two clearing chisels. I used a, a round modernomi, and then I used the big, f big flat one. So there's two clearing chisels. Hmm. And now for the last clearing step, I've got, I've got one, two, three, four, five of them on the desk here, and I may use all five of them back and forth, you know. There's a three millimeter, four millimeter, one millimeter, you know, the sewing needle. Mm -hmm. So it's three types, so that's about it, you know. And um, we've talked about this before, you know, you don't need a whole bunch of specialized stuff, you know. Yeah. I think I told the story before about visiting in the early days when I was here, uh, a young man, well, a young man, a guy, who is really one of the main gurus here. He runs a, a printmaking school, he teaches all over the country. He made barons for a while. And I visited him in his home. He was eager to show me the stuff. You know, Dave, I can teach you some stuff, whatever, you know. 
I ended up not hanging around because I clearly didn't want to become his acolyte. Mm -hmm. And he, I, his room was a four and a half mat room in his house, wow. uh, Yojohan. And you, you couldn't get into it. You you had to step at the entrance of the room. You stepped over stuff just onto a cushion that was right in the middle of the room, huh. and then sat down. And that was his workspace. And then he had cupboards and cabinets built all around the room so that they were accessible from as he sat there. Like you felt like you were in a 747 cockpit sitting, you know, you've seen the pictures with all the dials and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he had drawers and cabinets and stuff all over the place. And he gestured me in to sit in there and said, okay, now look over on the right-hand side, you know, and look at the cabinet. And there's a cabinet, it's all marked with the carving knives. And there's the carving knife. And he had yeah. uh, 1.5 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 3 millimeter, 4.5, 6, 7, 8 wow. millimeter carved at 60 degrees. Then wow. again, 1.5, 3, carved at 75 degrees, you know, all right. this stuff. So that every possible combination of whatever he thought he needed to carve at a particular moment that would need a particular angle, right. they were all there. And they were all water, not watermarked, I don't know, branded. What's the word? You get Labeled? a piece of metal. Hey. No, you get a metal. Uh, he had his name in metal, uh, and you burn it in, psh, woodworking. Uh, branding sounds like branding that. Branding, yeah. So. Wow. And there were thousands upon thousands of tools. Wow. Every possible combination of everything you can Angle ever and imagine. You know, so. And then the print, he had a barren, you know, the, the eight strand, the six strand, the 12 strand, the blah, 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 blah. And he was wow. so proud of this, you know. Yeah. And after a while, we're, we're looking, I'm, I'm ooing and aahing and doing all that sort of stuff. And then I can't remember, we'll break for tea or something. And... Like, um, can I see, you know, like some of your, your prints, you know? Yeah. And literally he goes, well, uh, or, you know, whatever. <laughs> and he is making prints, but mostly he's a guru, a teacher, and a tool collector, and a tool aficionado. And absolutely, honestly speaking, he clearly what didn't have any interest in actually making wood buck prints huh his whole life was was revolving around this this his status as being the the guy who had all these tools and and yeah and so more I'm, a collector than the producer yeah yeah no that's okay whatever and yeah I'm, I'm and i'm i'm just as quirky because i'm just as quirky the other way around mm -hmm. and my dad was and this is a bit i shouldn't perhaps admit this because this is an absolutely a defect I know. My dad was born in the late twenties. He he's gone now. He died last year. He's born in the late twenties. Dirt poor northern England mill town. Mm. Blah 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 blah. He broke out of that. The war split things up and mm -hmm. got him out of there. And he turned out to be a pretty good musician and this and that. But he was a professional musician all his life from the time he was about seventeen up until when he retired. And he never had professional tools. He never had a beautiful Yamaha baritone saxophone. He had a junker made in hunger crap baritone saxophone. And like we're all dad, you know, get, get the real tools. He says, oh, no, I can, I, can, uh, I can do without that. Yeah. And it's a bunch of things mixed together. Part of it was pride. I don't mm -hmm. need to spend money on the Rolls Royce because I can make this cheap thing sound real good. So yeah. Part of it was sort of a silly pride like that. Mm -hmm. And part of it was not being able to spend money on himself. He bought yeah. me a new flute when I was a kid. He'd spend the money. He wasn't a cheap bastard, but he would never spend the money on himself. Yeah. A professional musician who could have used professional tools. And all the guys around him and all the bands he played with, of course, had the best tools that money could buy. Right. But the quirk in his character, either because <clears throat> his mother said, no, 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 you have to make do with this, you know, and it was left over. You know, I, I'm not going to psychoanalyze the guy. Yeah. Because actually, it's the same conversation about me. And here I am in the same position. I'm one of the, what can I say? I'm a, I'm a person of important person in the world here. Blah, 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 blah. Making these traditional woodblock prints. And this is an absolute piece of junk tool. And <laughs> it's the same story. And even though I can clearly see it in him and say, Dad, spend the money. Get the tool. Why didn't you do that? Yeah. At him, I can say that. And I realize I'm talking into a mirror, you know. <laughs> and we can't do it for yourself. So... Right. All these little psychological quirks that each of us have, whatever we are, who we are, and my toolbox is a piece of cardboard box, and yeah. you know, and and it's two things mixed together. It's the inability to spend money on myself, and it's this stupid pride. Look at me, I'm so good at this that even with this little junky cardboard box <laughs> and only one knife, I can still make world. You know, whatever. Yeah. I'm not saying this, but it's in 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 the mind. You know. Yeah. 
ビキャストでさ、オッケー、大丈夫。忘れない。忘れないように。新聞、古新聞がすごい。水曜日です。水曜日か。はい。今週ね。なんですか。久保田さん。ええー。なんですか。今。え、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、待って、So, I don't know, it's difficult to talk about yourself and some of those terms, you know.、Yeah. And then I keep recommending to people just, you don't need special tools, just go for it, go for it, go for it. So, all these things are mixed together.、Mm. But on top of that whole thing is this particular craft, you know, is it's low tech, high touch.、Mm. And it's okay. You know? Anybody who goes that way and thinks about they can't do this unless they have the special tools and stuff, you're not going to get anything done. So, if you're going to make an error, which way around here? I think it's better to, to screw up my way, you know. At least I get stuff done. Yeah. David, I get to Friday, no, Sin Nan Kai, no, Okane, Tate Kaita, Boom, Marai Mas Sunday. Okay, I'm much on, 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 <laughs> There's some things we're not, not going to let you forget. That's、yeah. okay. part, of the, part, of the, you know. part of what I signed up for. All right, let's get this block finished, Dave. I think I'm actually talking a bit too much here. You know? We're, that's done, that's done. <laughs> the chat the went silent. <laughs> okay, okay, one side left here, this last little line. Okay.、Um. Someone jumped in and said, Chat goes quiet when Sensei speaks as you were telling the story. s o k a what story? I forget. Oh, about the tools and stuff. Yeah, and about yeah, your yeah. father. Soka, and Soka, Soka,、yeah. The chat just totally stopped for several minutes there. <laughs> no one said anything. What do you mean, hanging on every word? Yeah, that's give, what me it like. give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. I had a funny, funny conversation yesterday with somebody this morning in the shop before. You know, in the afternoon, we had those five back to back parties, so there was no conversation、mm-hmm. with anybody. But in the morning, we had one party first at 10 o'clock, and there was a gap. There was a couple in here from Australia.、Hmm. And he, he brought up something really funny. As soon as he started to talk about this, I knew exactly what he was trying to say. And it's really embarrassing for me to talk about this.、Uh, he, it's half embarrassing, half of a good joke. He was from Australia. Okay. And he was about my age, and he was fairly well read, you know, back in the era where, you know, people my age, we used to read books, you know, those things with, with covers and stuff like that. And he said, Do you know anything about the works of the guy we know as Neville s h u t I said, Of course. I, you know, I read all the time. I, I've read most of what he wrote. No, that wasn't his real name, I think. It was a pen name. He、mm-hmm. wrote novels. We're talking about somebody my father's age, so it's the immediate post war generation. He must have been writing in the 1950s and 60s and 70s,、yeah. something like that. I don't know exactly.、Mm-hmm. And he first wrote in England, then he immigrated to Australia. He wrote lots of、uh, novels with themes based on Australian things.、Hmm. And maybe, have you heard his name? Do you know the name I'm talking about? No. That's interesting. There's a real generation gap here because among people my age, this guy was one of the biggest novelists of the day.、Huh. Neville s h u t His classic novel is one called On the Beach. It's about a group of Australians living in a post, what we would call post apocalyptic, after a nuclear war. Okay. And the, the Americans and Russians had nuked each other out of existence, and the cloud of radioactivity was spreading around the globe bit by bit. And the Australians were still okay, even though North America was nothing but a nuclear wasteland.、Right. Europe was gone too. And the Australians were the last people alive. But this、oh. cloud was getting closer and closer and closer, and they were, their days were literally numbered.、Mm-hmm. So the, the novel was set in this period. And it's really touching and, and very difficult to read novel. Anyway, long、mm-hmm. story short. This guy wrote many novels, many about Australian themes, which was why this guy knew about him. But he wrote one, oh my god, I can't remember the title about it now.、Uh, someone's going to come up in the chat. It's a, he wrote one about this young man who worked in an aircraft maintenance company in the Middle East. It was a, a British guy in the post war period 
who had set up a chartered aircraft company in oh. the place like we now know as Iraq and Kuwait and right. stuff like this. What Back was the author's name again? Shoot. Neville Shute. Neville. Okay. Neville Shute. And as this sounds like a long story, I'm sorry, but there's really a, a super interesting point to it. The He had written about this young man who works in this aircraft maintenance company. And he starts to chat with the people around him about life, the universe and everything, based on like philosophy of life, based on his work, you know, this tool does a good job for this and we're going to fix this airplane, it's mm -hmm. going to have good use for society and blah, blah, blah. I can't really paraphrase what he said. The point being, what it turned out to be was the people in his workshop started to listen to him and gather around when he started talking. And then they told their friends and they told their friends and it would turn out that people would come and gather around in the aircraft maintenance workshop mm. who were not connected with the business just to come and listen to this guy chat about life and stuff. Yeah. And things grow and things grow and things grow. And it turns out that what starts to happen is this man starts to be seen as sort of a, a Jesus type figure huh. who is not preaching, you know, come with me and I will save your life and we'll live together happily in heaven or whatever. Just yeah. simply his life philosophy started to become like a religion. Hmm. And it grew and it grew and it grew and it expanded beyond control. And the guy who is the narrator of the story, the British guy who was running this aircraft maintenance company, realizes that he is here at the founding of a new major world religion. Really? In the old days, it was Jesus as a carpenter telling parables right. and this kind of stuff. <laughs> and now it's this guy who is working in his company as a, on aircraft maintenance, who is without even intending it or planning it or trying to set up a new religion, it's actually happening organically. And it's a hugely interesting and see book. Hey, back to the story. The guy yesterday says, have you read this? And I knew instantly as soon as he brought this up, I know, oh, let's not yeah. go there. You know, let's not go there. <laughs> and of course, I'm saying I'm laughing and laughing and laughing as, yeah. as I tell this story. You know, I in no way think of this is a, but it's, you know, you said now the chat falls dead silent as yeah. David starts to speak. And that's exactly yeah. what happens in this book. Huh. Has somebody got the title? Yep, they found it. Round the Bend. Round the Bend. Okay, and that's it. Yeah, there we are. You know, we know what Round the Bend means as an English phrase. You know, you're American, you probably don't know yeah. what Round the Bend means. He's going crazy. He's uh -huh. going Round the Bend. I think it's an Australian English term. Okay. I don't know I don't know the derivation of it, but mm -hmm. oh my God, he's Round the Bend. He's been hit by the sun. He hasn't been drinking enough water. This guy is, he's a loony. Hmm. And the guy asked him, and I said, oh God, give me a break. Don't you start, you know? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and we laughed about it, but he laughed, you know. The world according to the woodblock, you know, the, using this chisel as, as a, an analogy for how we should do something in life. And, wow. I, I we are want. acolytes of the Baron, after all. And then, too, and then, <laughs> and then, then they, someone so, jumped so in. So when somebody put that, I thought, when I first saw that page, the first thing I saw, I don't think they called it Acolytes first. It was some kind of fan page first. And I yeah. saw that picture with a beard and whatever. Okay, let's have a good laugh. And then somebody changed it to read Acolytes. And I thought, wait a minute, guys. Let's, know, let's, let's stop this before it even starts. You know, so. Okay, I think this block is finished. It didn't exactly take 90 minutes. Let me zoom out a little bit. What we've got here now is a finished first block, right? I've cleared enough around out the outside. We've got registration marks. We'll be able to print this in a few minutes. And I'm, what I'm going to do is, let me get this thing out of the way. We have a very simple job here. We've got some hair to carve, and I'm going to use for that the back side. Anybody who's expecting printing to start just right now, you got 10 more minutes to wait before we print. <laughs> I'm going to pop some registration marks in here. And this is another, people always say, how do you get the prints lined up? How do you get the registration marks lined up? It's automatic. I'm carving these in almost in a random place on this block. It doesn't matter where I carve them. Where's my persuader? Give me a tap here. Headphone watchers, there's a tap coming. Just a minute. Three, two, one. Prophet Dave, all hail Dave, we need to make a pilgrimage to Mokuhan Khan. Well, this is oh, what no. was happening in that book. It's a really interesting book, actually. Yeah, sounds and it made you think about, you know, what, what was Christianity? Did it actually happen? You know, how did these sort of things get started and mm -hmm. stuff like that? Yeah. yeah. So, so. 
So again, how the registration marks get aligned, they don't. I've carved them in a random place, but I've cut this piece of paper in such a way that that's in the right place. You know? hmm. So I'm just going to glue it in. This is a test run. What we need is simply this area here. A splash of water. We're, done. We're over two hours now, alright? Oh boy, oh yep. boy, oh boy. Anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. People can come, people can go. It'll all be later. I don't know what YouTube's yep. limit for length is. You know, we may have to edit this for YouTube. I don't know. What's it's the a limit? ten hour length. Ten hours. Yep. So we got eight hours left to finish this. Yeah, all right. Let's hope we boogie. Can make Let's it. boogie. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. I've never noticed this. They uh, have the bot, um, if you send it, the term persuader, the name of your hammer. Oh, yeah, apparently. yeah, it's in there. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It says, hold on to your butt. <laughs> <laughs> and then, People think this is something I made up, but it's not. It's a generic mm. term. You know, mechanics yeah. talk about their persuader. They can't oh, yeah. open the nuts and bolts, so they get a wrench on and bring out their persuader. Yep. This is nothing that I created, you know. Yeah. Oh, it's funny. I think on the Twitch, on the Acolyte page, Acolyte page, ah! On the, on, <laughs> on the fan page a while ago, we had this photograph. Somebody was making this print. Right. And this is the image he used to explain what's going on as far as moops too far. I think he'd rubbed just this tiny fraction too far and boop, off oh. it had come. Oh, so right. back on that fan page, there is this very image you're seeing right now. The hair for this same image with a piece of gumpy and a finger rubbing and Oops, <laughs> so, and I'm going to stop just in time. Look at that. It's not going to get any blacker than that. We're okay. Is my tea getting cold? But look at that, how much pulls off. This gumpy paper is just insane. You cannot get any clearer than this. People keep sending me emails. Dave, there's this new chemical compound. You can rub it on paper, rub it on your block, and it sticks wood mm. paper, blah, 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 blah. I yeah. don't care. Okay. This works for me, and it works so well. As long as I can get gumpy paper, this is all I need. Yeah. Okay, cooking with gas. Let's go. Back to stage one. <laughs> now you're mm. cooking with gas. <laughs> Dave recognizes his acolytes, the acolyte page. <laughs> Slip of the tongue, sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> How long is he streaming for today? Till it's done. That's someone else jumped in. Yeah. We're getting there now. This this hair carving block now will be 10 minutes or so, and then we'll switch to printing. And once we start printing, bang, 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 things are going to happen quickly. So don't sweat it. If you come this far, I thought earlier, you know, about doing a dry run of the whole thing in my own personal time just to check how long it took so I'd be able to predict on the stream. I thought it doesn't matter, you know. Mm. Just do this thing. Yeah. Okay, there is one thing I will need. Once we get to the printing stage, what mm -hmm. I'll need you to do is I know I, I prepared pigments and stuff to get ready for the blue green background. Right. But I didn't care too much about the black, so I was going to steal the print party black just for a few minutes while we're doing it. Mm -hmm. But there's a print party starting at 11.30, you know. Right. Or, well, that's still an hour okay. from right. now. Okay, yeah, we'll do it. We'll just do it. Okay. So what I will need, not yet now, but later, what I will need you to do, or how I sound to do, is I'll need you to bring me the black brush. No, I've got a black brush. I'll need the black pigment bowl okay. from the print party room. Sure. Because I didn't prepare a separate one here. Yeah. 
All quiet on the chat front there. No, we've got some more, <laughs> more accolades. But they said it's worth noting that it's accolades of the Baron, not of a person. Okay, good, good, good. So, okay, okay. Maybe I'm taking too much for myself then. Very nice. Thank yeah. you. Thank well, you. They said, Even a person like the great messenger of the Baron, Dave. <laughs> Although having my picture stuck like that on the front, you know, I don't know. Yeah. We can maybe mention that, you know, the, the business we have here, Mokohanka, you know, I'm quite a bit unusual when I set it up and I didn't use my own name for this business. You know. hmm. All the other workshops in town, the historical ones that made prints, Doi Hanga Company, Adachi, Takami Sawa, they all use Ginza Watanabe, they all use the founder's name, mm -hmm. being that I am, you know, this is me and this is who we are. And I specifically, absolutely didn't use my own name for this, you know. I don't want this to be the David Bull workshop because I'm leaving soon. Well, not soon, but I'm leaving at some point, you know, in the, the relatively near future. I'm 66, so I've yep. got X years left. I'd really like to think that this place might continue after I'm gone. Mm -hmm. We're going to try and set it up as stably as we can. I didn't want it to be years from now the Dave Bull workshop, you know, whatever. There might be some people who remember who got it started. That's cool. But I'm not trying to put my name on the banner so as, you know, to, to keep it there forever. I don't care about that. But having said that, we do clearly have a key man business still, you know. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Whether we will ever be able to escape from that, I don't know. It depends how strong our young people come up, you know, Kawaii-san, how good he can get, how willing he'll be to talk about it. When other people are willing to step forward and be the face and talk about things, mm -hmm. then it'll become less of a key man show here. You know? yeah. At the moment, that's <coughs> not happening, but it's still early days. Yeah. My own screen, am I okay? Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Dave planned on a 90 minute stream. I hope he also plans to live to be 100. <laughs> <laughs> it shows you how good I am at estimating these things, which is not at all very good. So, 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 so. I think I'll qualify that. Every time I said that, I said it might, 90 minutes, it might not be, so you know, we'll just do whatever it takes. So. Yeah. But yes, clearly. Yeah. Not perfect estimate. But I hope I made it clear that it wasn't going to be a race against the clock. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Oh, question from. 20 minutes ago. I'm so sorry, Moose. I've missed you. Um, okay. As an intermediate level carver, he's successfully finished more complex pieces than ruined them. Uh, do you have any advice to, to give to help get over the, the hump of very detailed small small details, and besides just consistent practice and doing it, or is that... I'm not sure what you mean by a hump. You mean what, the pieces keep breaking right. off, or, or you can't it, get that small? I'm not sure exactly what, what I think it what might mean, mean a, a, hump a here. skill hump, is what it sounds like, where you kind of hit a hit a wall, like, I can't make it past this point. You mean getting smaller and smaller and smaller? I mean, I'm sorry to be obstreperous, I'm not yeah. quite sure what you mean. I know with me, it's a question of how well, eyes, you know, I need a lens and I need mm -hmm. help to get detail. Other than that, detail is no different from larger work. It's just what you can see. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. What's the, what's the, you know, if the wood keeps breaking, you mean, or? or? Not sure. We'll see if he jumps in here or sends another email. I mean, the more detailed work you need, the harder and denser the wood has to be. Mm -hmm. The more fine the point of your knife has to be, it'll break easier and more frequently. And other than that, it's a question of what you can see, the, the <coughs> lens and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm not quite sure what it means, I'm sorry. Okay. 
I don't know if this is the kind of question you want to to answer or don't, <laughs> but uh, Dave, what is your favorite thing about Japanese culture? And someone jumped in and said, I reckon it's the printmaking, but <laughs> Any, whatever. There's nothing that's... to say. You know, I, I don't, you know, whatever. Just my, my life these days is wrapped up with this work. You know, I don't really think about much else. And the conversation keeps going this way now and then, and people are like, oh, why don't you take a break and get away from it and stuff like that. And I have no interest in such things, you know, really, mm. for me, whether this is a good thing or a bad thing or a happy thing or a sad thing, I don't know. For me, my life these days, every waking hour is wrapped up with what we're doing here and what I'm doing, yeah. you know. So the idea of what's my favorite thing, you know, whatever, at the moment, I don't do anything else than this, you know. Yeah. So I'm not really sure that I can answer that question in yeah. any intelligent way. You know, my my function on this planet, sort of the job that's in front of me right now, is to build this organization to a point where it's making beautiful work, provides a good living for some some young people, and maybe can get to the point where it'll be stable for the future. And I don't really think now about anything else. Mm. But every time this comes up, it's all, oh my God, you should take a break and take a vacation and you yeah. know, smell the roses and stuff like that. And I don't care about roses, you know. <laughs> no, really. Just, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm busy and I'm super happily busy. Yeah. And what else is there, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Westwind77, who I think has been here maybe since the beginning, uh, said, I noticed the blade is usually resting against the tip of Dave's finger, a nail when yes, he carves. Yes, absolutely. And it's totally supported. Absolutely. Okay. Never free help. Yeah. Okay. So and, but the question... Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you press firmly? Is it a simple guide, or are you really pushing against it? We're really it? pushing. What? I know. We've talked about this before. I know. Let, me, let me get around this corner here just a minute. I know. The knife never moves free. Never. As in, I like, never. Yeah. And... The wood is really quite hard. This is che hard cherry wood. And it's also bumpy in that there's wood, winter grain, summer grain. The wood is not perfectly smooth, buttery. It's got, you know, done, if I carve, it gets resistance and smooth and resistance and smooth, you know. So what we do is, Joe, if I'm carving here, it requires a strength of, let's just make up a number. It requires a strength of, of X to go forward through the wood here. I pull with maybe more than X, and I back off with whatever. whatever. I pull with 10 and push with 9. So there's a whole bunch of power here that's not being used. And the result is this there's 1. 10 minus 9 is 1. 1 is left, which is just enough to do this job. But because I'm pulling with 10 and pushing with 9, it cancels out all that easy, hard, easy, hard, easy, yeah. hard, easy, hard stuff. It's difficult to verbalize in words. I'm sorry. So I'm using way more strength than is necessary. But because I'm also backing off and countering that strength, there's some sort of there's some sort of huge reservoir of power that's in there that doesn't get used, but it allows your knife to slice through the hard parts without jumping ahead through the soft parts. Hmm. I'm sorry, it's really difficult to, to you know verbalize. But it's not free. It's supported and allows. So my, my right hand is allowing this knife to come forward yeah. at, at the rate that the. So the right hand is guiding how fast this thing moves. When I say my right hand, I mean this finger. This finger is the guide that is letting the knife go forward. Mm -hmm. If I pulled it away suddenly, the knife is going to zoom, yeah. drag through this thing too fast. Are you spreadsheeting this? <laughs> Is that your math? Someone, uh, someone asked. Someone well, the like, nine, yeah, whatever. Yeah, the, the, I was just stumbling trying to find an analogy for, for yeah. you know something that I can't express in words. Mm -hmm. Okay, around the last corner of this here, then we get the Mr. Persuader out again. <laughs> a few minutes from now, we'll be printing. This one's a bit softer than I would like here, actually. <laughs> I 
what's this? Everybody's what just telling jokes over there. What's this? Like, yes. You keep cracking up, and I never hear the joke. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Um, well, because you mentioned the persuader, we no, got no, no, no. someone said, <laughs> I don't know why I think this is so stupid. Right. Grasp your buttocks instead of holding onto your butts, because that's what always comes up every time they do it. So they okay. just putting it. I'm a child, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. You just refocus, right? Zoom out. Where am I? It's going to be here. We okay there? Good. Glasses on. I keep looking over, like to look at the email and stuff. And uh, there's yeah. no email there. And I think yeah. this is this is two hours. This is the longest I've been off email. <laughs> My hands are starting to shake. You know, so I don't going do, through withdrawal symptoms. So I don't do SMS and stuff like that. You know, or Line or those kind of things. I can't bear that sort of stuff. It's interrupting me all day long. Mm -hmm. The reason I personally use email mostly is it's under my control. I go and look when I want to go and look at it. Yeah. You know? But clearly there's a psychological thing happening. I'm like, I keep looking over there because I want to see this. Are yeah. people talking to me? Am I real? Is stuff happening? You know? so, yeah. yeah. There are no email questions lately. No, I mean, just because of, of the chat. I mean, just life, you know, I've been, yeah. I haven't been in touch with the internet now. Right. Consciously. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Do we need to, do we need to horn? Uh, they've already sent the right. persuader message through the bot. So. What was the grit of the stones you used to sharpen? People are guessing 400, 600, and 1,000. Was that correct? No, I used 400 and 1,000 on the steel. Uh, da, 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 da. I think. Okay. I think it's a 4 and 1,000. Yep. Yeah. 400 and 1,000. And the finishing one, I don't know. It's a, it's a, you know, a real stone. Okay. And it would be 224 or something. I, I don't know. Okay. Sorry. That's all right. <clears throat> Hope that helps. Chippy block here. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of disorienting. I'm watching the stream delayed three minutes or three seconds, and so I'm watching you hit, oh, but then you... hearing you hit at ah, a different so, time. So, 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 so. <laughs> you get the sound off. Yeah, 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 I've got the video muted, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's funny for me too. Everybody else is seeing this three seconds later, actually. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. You're living in the future. So we're living in the past or whatever. Yeah. This is a thing that uh, 
Hasui video we played the other day when Maida-san was at his bench. He didn't right. have a bench stop because he wasn't at his normal bench. So he was desperately trying to hold with his hand as he... Uh... <laughs> wow. Trying to hold it in place while yeah, it's yeah. chiseling I was just, away. I was just uh, empathizing with the guy, you know. Yeah. Come on, cameraman, give him a break, you know. Yeah. You're making him world famous. This is the thing that will define his life forever and ever after yeah. he's dead. And you're not letting him do his normal work at his normal bench, you know. Ow! Yeah. I felt hugely frustrated by that. Yeah. I get the same situation. A TV will come and do this and do that. And you got a fake block and a fake situation. Mm -hmm. And they're pausing and pausing and doing this and that. And that's yeah. the one that maybe will end up being preserved over and above everything right. else, you know. Well, these days, not so bad because we have YouTube. We do our own preservation. Right. So I'm okay. But my design didn't have that, mm -hmm. that flexibility, you know. Yeah. I feel really sad about that. Yeah. Plus, frustrated. I want to see his normal work. You know? Yeah. So, and the Barracuda says, can't live without the internet for more than an hour. Kids these days. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? <laughs> I wonder, I didn't ask you, my mother's watching this today. I don't know if she would have given up by now. I don't think she could stand it. Yeah. I'll be in Canada next week. And as I've mentioned before, you know, my mother's been watching these streams, but she doesn't know how to participate in the chat. She can't mm -hmm. quite get past the couches. Yeah. So when I'm there next week, we're going to train her up. So you have a warning. After I get back to Japan next week and start streaming again, my mother is going to be on these streams in all caps. In all caps. Yes. And give her a break. Be, be, be kind to her. Yep. And you're not supposed to talk about ages and stuff, so I won't. But man, if she isn't the oldest Twitcher, I have no idea who would be, you know. So <laughs> I'm 66 and this lady's my mother, so you could work out you know, where she might be, you know. Yeah. So. She's probably going to get upset if I say that, whatever. I keep telling her, ride with it, just enjoy it, you know, being that status, you know. Mm. She, do, she doesn't want status to be measured by being the oldest person in the room. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I get it, I get it. I get it. Am I on camera? I keep moving camera. Keep me, keep me up. Yeah, Dave. That's oh, pretty good. Yeah, right, you just right, moved right. a little bit there, but. Okay. Mm. Last stage here, back under the scope, just for a second. Okay. I'm here. We're in. Yep. Good. Here we go. And we're now counting down the end of the carving here. Okay. So this isn't live? It is live. But is it? There's a three second delay. <laughs> Not from our point of view. That's whatever Twitch's system handles. Yeah. So, I mean, it may be just a, an artifact of what how this happens. We're streaming up. Mm -hmm. Twitch has got to process it at least some way or whatever, and you know, divvy it up and send it back out to their streaming yeah. servers. And maybe that just simply needs that X couple of seconds to do this. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think it's being held back for censoring or, or you know whatever. I don't think. I don't know. Yeah. Is it? So this is amazing. It took me a week to carve what you've done in two and a half hours. Oh, the so, whole print, you mean? Yeah, yeah. A week meaning not a week steady work, a week of uh, an hour here one evening and an hour here the next evening, right. stuff like that, right? I'm sure that's correct. But One aspect is those big chisels. You know, when I was doing this as a hobby back in Canada, I was, I can't say stupid, but whatever. I hadn't had much experience with it. Mm -hmm. And I only had ice ski chisels. So I carved and all these surrounding areas I dug out with these little chisels like this. Wow. And in retrospect, I'm thinking, was I so stupid that I couldn't think of, you know, using a, you know, a woodworker's chisel. Yeah. But some of that was a mental block. It's not normal woodworker's tools you use. There has to be special printmaking tools that I didn't know about. So I was only using the printmaking tools, you know, these, mm -hmm. these ice key chisels. And it doesn't matter. It's wide areas of wood. Get a chisel and knock them out. Who cares? You yeah. Know? But I didn't make that mental leap, you know. Uh -uh. I've got a print, you know the scroll one behind you on the wall there? I've got a black and white version that I made when I was in Canada. So mm. it's a print a meter high. Uh -huh. And I did the whole clearing with this little chisel. I used a six millimeter width, you know. Wow. Because I was just not too stupid. I just didn't, you know, whatever. Uh -huh. I thought that I hadn't been, you know, learned whatever. Mm -hmm. 
And there was one interesting thing. And when I was visiting a workshop in Canada back in early 2000s, there was a young guy there, an Italian American. His name was Marco, and he had a some kind of vibrating tool where you go zoom, 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 zoom. It was wider. Wow. And it vibrated and dug out wood. Huh. So it's a chisel. He just pushed it along the wood, and the vibrating thing did the chiseling away. Wow. And he said, "Why don't you use this?" And I said, "No, all that noise, just water. Anyway, it's going to be slower than me." He says. Slower? You're kidding. I'm way faster. So we got two pieces of wood side by side and we had it. And I beat the pants off it. Because, <laughs> you know, you can whack and whack and whack and whack and away you go, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying as this was stupid pride, but there are times when a power tool makes sense. Yeah. You know, when we get that piece of lumber over there, we're starting to hack that up for wood blocks. We are going to mm, use some power, power tools. tools. You know, yeah. Absolutely. And there's times when it doesn't make any sense. It's not necessary. Okay, I think here I am done carving, stage one. We may have to touch some of this stuff up depending on what we see when we do test printing. Mm -hmm. But I think we are carved. Wow. We're gonna take 90 minutes plus a few minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> Let me know when you need me to grab things. In one minute, let's get, get my bench clear. Just one second. It's got to knock the edge off here so that when we're printing, it doesn't make a. Uh... Excuse me, when we print the hair, the baron tool will touch these. And if it's uh, too sharp, it'll leave a mark on the finished print. Mm. Okay, carving tools away. Now we're going to do this in a funny way. This is a carving bench, not a printing bench. It's angled the wrong way. It's all that, you know, we would never, never do printing at a bench like this, of course. But for what we're going to do here today, we'll get it done. Okay. Tools, sir. Bring yeah. me some tools. How are we going to do this? Thank you. We should probably zoom way out here just to get this thing sorted out first. Kawaii-san! はい。ちょっとお願いありますが、これからスリーですが、あのパーティーの部屋からちょっとバレンバレンのってますが、えっとね、あの黒いあのスミですね、牧場とタイル一つお願いします。ちょっとです。ショッピングスペアをでもちょ
。つばきあるあります。He's trying to think a step ahead of me, and I had one move what we needed, so. Nanigiro, it's me. Let's pop it back up. Where's the picture? Nanigiro, it's me. Konigiro, it's me. The Konoftatsu de, I was said, can I? Bokuju is sure. Konigiro, it's me. Konigiro, it's me. Konigiro, it's me. I think we're close. Mm-hmm. With these two, mm-hmm. I think I can get it. We'll see. As I said before, we're not trying to get a、um, perfect match here. We're just trying to get something close. Okay. Do you have the printing paper, please, c a m e r a s a n Where is it? Right here. Okay. <clears throat> people are noticing. Wow, you've been on way longer than normal. <laughs> yeah.、Uh, people just dropping in for the first time or something? Or? Yeah, it looks like it. We're up、What's、to about 230. Briefly.、Minutes? Oh, uh, people, you mean? People,、right. yeah. So, what have we been on? Two hours now? Plus、people. two hours to show? Yeah.、Um, started at eight, so we're at 2.45. Okay. I'll need some test paper. Can you. that Right in front of you there, there's a bunch of papers. Yeah. So, just, just right there. The ones that are folded, doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Or whatever. Okay. 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 Oh, look at this. It's on a video script. Good evening. This is Woodblock Printmaker David Bull. <laughs> it's a script. I must have t- pasted it on the wall in front of one of the、uh, videos. Yeah. Top secret. It's evening now and they've all gone home, but I had my camera busy earlier. Enough, 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 enough. Let's leave it there. Okay. Okay, now we gotta wash this. I got college in seven hours. The things I do to watch Dave carve. Work in five. This is more important. <laughs> Lots of people are sticking in for the long haul. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. Sorry. It will be stored, you know. I don't know what Twitch's rule is. The, the, the length matter? I guess not, because people do insane videos playing games and stuff for、yeah, hours、yeah. and hours and hours. So I guess it's okay. Yeah, the. Earlier, some people were talking about a marathon 24 hours a day for seven days, an entire week non stop. On, on Twitch,、playing. you mean? Yep, you're on Twitch. What, it, it was some kind of game event、uh, or something? Or? They call it speed running, doing really fast runs from the beginning、mm-hmm. to the end of games for charity. So they're, they're getting well, donations.、Uh, people taking turns, though, you mean? Or what,、uh, I'm or? not sure. I think it's a team that just plays by themselves, but I'm not too familiar with it.、Well. But. I mean, they probably have to take some food breaks of some sort. But <laughs> toilet breaks. Yeah, food toilet. toilet. Which I'm thinking about, but not just yet. Let's get this going here. Where's my toothbrush? Somewhere here is a toothbrush. Okay, it is lots of different people doing different runs. Or different companies. Earlier, different people playing different games. But all quickly. Toothbrushes, whatever.、Oh. I don't normally do this work here, I do this upstairs. So. Someone said, Do you mind zooming in the camera a bit? A bit more? Okay, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay.、Um, we'll zoom in and up. So, what I also want to do is when we get the pigment going on and stuff, I want to see the, the, the show the tools and everything. So, so.、Okay. Here's Aimee-san. Why was I m o n Careful of the cable, man.、Mm. Aimee-san, good morning. We're, we're live. Be my life. Say hello. Say hello to the gang.、So. This is Aimee-san and her baby she brought with her today. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Oh, just hold the kids. Okay. Ah, kero kero pi. Ah, ta ta ta. Okay.
Right, what do I need here? What do you need? I need my strong barn. Oops. Wood chips underneath it here. I think we should zoom out just a bit here because okay. you're going to see what's going on here. There's yeah. uh, paper is ready here. I've got a sheet of junk copy paper on top and tucked away inside is carefully moistened washi paper. This was moistened last night. I can't do all this totally on stream. I couldn't moisten it right now because it takes overnight to mm -hmm. settle down. But I didn't do anything magical. Just simply brushed water over the paper. Mm -hmm. And what we're now going to do, there's a barren here. There's paper here. I'll do some test splashes on this paper just to see what we got for pigment. I've brought from upstairs a, a bowl full of a kind of a teal pigment yeah. and another bowl full of green. It's not full. It's hopefully enough in there to do this. And I'm going to use those two to get close to what we see on the finished print here. Oh, paste, soka, paste, paste, okay. paste. And someone just asked about registration marks on the other side of the board. They're there. No, no they're there. Okay, good. Yeah. Paste. <laughs> Let me steal a paste cup yeah. from the party room, please. Ha ha ha. I knew there was something I must have forgotten. Where would you like it? It's an We're running out of room here, but thank you. Good. Mm. Look at that paste. And someone asked about the tile as well. If you tile's right it. here. Yeah. What's it for? So I'm going to mix so. pigments on the tile. Okay. We don't. I don't normally when we're making an edition of a of a of a print. Mm -hmm. We of course we do test printing, test printing, test printing. Mm -hmm. Then make a bowl full of the pigment we need, and then dip it, dip it from so the much. bowl right onto the block. Hmm. But today I don't have that done, so we're testing right from the beginning. So I'm going to dip some. I'm gonna, well, we'll see. I'm going to do it in a minute. We'll just, yep. just we can see it on there. So, Baron, block, paste, pigments out of reach, but you'll see them coming onto the tile. Get the block warmed up. Okay, now here we go. We're going to need some teal. And I'm just guessing here how much green this is going to be. I don't know. We'll see. Mix them together. Bit too much green, kind of. Impression here. Has Dave taken a sip of his tea latte yet? <laughs> uh, a sip or two, that's all. It's gone cold there. Sorry. I sacrificed myself for the stream here. Here we go. Okay, first impression. I think we're. Are we close? I don't know. It's hard to say. I think we are close. What do you think, Dr. Cameron? <laughs> Dr. Cameron. <Look> <laughs> I think it's a nice looking print. I'm holding it next to the, the one you have on the stream. It's very similar. That was easy on copy paper because copy paper is so smooth and flat. Mm. It's much more difficult to get us. In fact, I may need one more thing here. Yeah, uh, sure. The, the, uh, Paper that protects the back, the ategami. Okay. And that's not here, that's upstairs. Can upstairs. I ask you to room? Yep. Thank I'll you. Go ask them what that is. Ategami. Ategami, so. Okay. Just one? So is that shield, shield. Okay, so. All right. The printing paper I'm going to use in a minute is soft, moistened washi, and I'm not sure how strong it is on the back surface. So I might need a, a piece of that interleaving sheet we use. Wait till they get here. Where's that sheet we just made?
first impression. I think the color's close. It's saying it may be too long. It needs. To yeah, I just need. I have no scissors here. Oh, oh, no. Oh, great. Did you just kill our net connection? Is it okay? Is it still there? alive? And it's still up here. All right. Okay. No, 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 no. Just out to the kitchen. Okay. Scissors. See, just nothing. Scissors. Scissors. It's right there in in that stand. There's some scissors right there. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Thank you. Block is drying very much, so two hundred sixty three people are watching. Really? Wow. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Do they know what's going on? Because these can't all be regular viewers. Do we need to explain what's happening here? Yeah. I think I, I, well, they've been using the bot occasionally to kind of do a quick summary of what's happening. I think, but let's see. Well, let's take an impression here on washi paper. I called dibs on that test piece, the, the one on the printer paper. <laughs> it started already, has it? Yep. Are we going to need to sign these on air to make sure they're authorized copies <laughs> and stuff? or what? The... Thank you, kawaii -san. And here's the first actual <laughs> washi <laughs> copy. So... <laughs> You can say it's all a funny light on it, but anyway, there's the first actual. So should I quick click over the other window? Here's a mm -hmm. I think we're looking right. I think we're looking okay. You know? I think this is looking good. We've got a little bit of tamari here. A little bit of paste building up in a couple of places. We might need to clean those out. Carve a bit deeper. We got a bit of a problem. There's a white streak here. See this? I don't know if you can see it. It's blocked. There's a hard spot on the block. Oh. We got a brand new block here. So that white streak is going to show up on a brand new block. Hmm. As we make impressions 10, 15, 20, 100, this starts to get softer and it gets, uh, they won't be so visible. But there's our first impression. Let me do a few more here. How many copies of this are we going to make? Because I could make them all day, but that's going to run the stream yeah. a long, 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 long The time. number you've been throwing around was 10, but... Okay, I've got 10 sheets of paper, but I don't know, whatever, let's see. Let's just get going here. Someone said, clearly this is witchcraft. <laughs> Why is this witchcraft? Huh? <laughs> just because it... Because it looks so, so easy. It looks you so mean? easy. I guess so. I don't know. See where you're putting this is copy number one. You know, so. But I tell you, so, I mean, if you take okay, 30 years ago's day, 40 years ago's day, would have just looked at this and, oh my God, what is happening here? Yeah. And I'm laughing up because it's just so easy. I'm, I'm sorry to be a bit patronizing to the guys on the stream, you know. It's, it's a, there's a, that old joke, it's time, right? time No, there's a really, really funny joke. There's this woman goes into a Fifth Avenue place with fashion and hats and mm -hmm. stuff. This is a joke from before I was born. And she was in, this is Pierre who makes hats. And she says, Pierre, I'm going to this special event tonight and I need an original hat that nobody else has. Yeah. And he says, he looks at her and he does the hand gesture, whatever. He, says, he grabs a piece of ribbon off the wall like a six, a two meter, six. Yeah. And he says, he goes like this, twirl, 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 pin, clip, twirl, 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 pin. He makes a hat, he puts it on her head, 
And she says, oh my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to be the belle of the ball tonight. Whatever. How much? And he says, for you, $750. <laughs> and she says, 750 bucks. It's a piece of six inch ribbon, like $5 or $2. He says, lady, for the ribbon, it's a service for you free. For my expertise, seven hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> it's the oldest joke in the book, you know. Whatever. So, but here we are, you know. So, simple materials, simple stuff, and experience. There's yeah. nothing else to say. You mm -hmm. know, so. Even now, I'm chatting with you about this. I'm, I'm, I'm killing time because this block is too dry. I'm trying to get the block mm -hmm. up to the moisture. Right. But if I just sat here and waited, it's like, what is he doing? So, take the time, tell a joke, yeah. but all the time. I'm coaxing this block into a good condition. Mm. Just a couple of minutes ago, you were asking, how are we going to divide up these prints? How many are we making? And we've got one for the Sylvian and one for the guy who made the illustrator files and one for me. And so <laughs> everyone's calling dibs. I don't know. Let's just make, I know, whatever. We'll do something sensible on the stream here, yeah. you know, make a bunch of copies, but we can't let this thing go six hours because it's going to be the same thing over and over yeah. and over again. And today, once the shop is closed, I can come back here this evening and make, you know, a full bunch of copies. The, yeah. the, the I don't know, just, just let me... Mm -hmm. The other thing, too, is it should be a bit of carving fixing. You know, I said there's a bit of tamari in there. So some of those places should be carved out a little bit wider. So maybe what I should do is not do that, maybe, can I? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, everyone, rock, paper, scissors for the prints. <laughs> Is this going to be a thing? Am I going to get in trouble on how to distribute these? I don't know. I don't no. think so. Look at this. We've got that clear. This is going to be oh, in the yeah. first 50 copies or so. I don't know if you can see it. Hmm. Mm. We'll scan this. You see that there's a white sort of a streak here at the yeah. bottom there. And that's a really hard spot in the wood. And there's nothing oh, on the right. planet that can avoid that. It's a new, brand new block, mm -hmm. you know. So we can maybe put Nagara a little bit on it, but it's mm -hmm. not going to make much difference. It's that That's how later generations will be able to tell, oh my God, that's one well, of the more, first copies off Dave's block. Yeah. Huh? Why, why does it put on that? So, ah, so the wood's too hard. So I shouldn't, you know, <laughs> ideally I would have picked a different piece of wood, but you know, if you go with what you got here, so. <clears throat> what about having Cameron have a go at printing? Cameron is banned <laughs> from printing. <laughs> yep. So that's okay. That's funny. So you don't need to sign the first batch. They've got the the natural oh, signature. The, the signature. <laughs> also, we haven't cleaned up around the outside, so some of these the corner of the paper might be messy or something. We'll mm. see. Some people were also earlier making suggestions on the color, but I don't know if you're taking color uh, suggestions. It's a bit too green, maybe compared to that one. Yeah, some were the saying a little so, too green. Yeah. Some were saying uh, add a tiny bit of the black to darken yep, it. Yep, all the all good suggestions. I'm not going to bother too much about that right now. I haven't yeah. even mixed it in the bowl. You know, I'm just tapping on the tile. Right. When it comes time to uh, put this into the shop. This one's yeah. even greener, you can see from the back. Look at this. Yeah. We've definitely gone too far with the green. Hmm. Is that showing on the camera? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when we do our edition for the shop, we will sit down, or I, I will sit down, mix something properly, and that'll be the edition and bang. Hmm. If I came to the shop today, could I pick up a copy of this? <laughs> so that's good. But. Well, we certainly don't have the packaging and stuff right yeah. now, obviously, you know. Someone jumped in, probably not today, maybe a few weeks, but I don't know your thoughts. Um. 2 a.m. here in Ireland, and I'm still calling dibs on the one of the first runs. Work will surely understand. Hashtag illustrator guy. So <laughs> he's still in here watching. Okay, well, we had to send him. What am I going to do with these? I mean, we've, yeah. we've, we've hesitated. Us. What am I going to do? I mean, there are people clearly, you know, the man who made the there's, bot, for example, that, that, have, that I owe to. I know yeah. there's, in the background, there's a man who's been, I know, 
doing the Facebook page yep, over yep. to the Mocha Hong Kong. We've got to pay mm-hmm. him actually for all that for that work, but oh, on top yeah, of that. Yeah. So there's people I actually I actually owe right now in yeah. terms of they've done work for me mm-hmm. and I have I've done nothing much to give them back. Yeah. Go after the The time difference yeah. here. Ah yeah. uh, the delay, so, so yeah. Yeah. You tell about the stock on the wave prints. They're getting made. They're, <laughs> They're getting made, but we're now we're sold out now. The January batch is spoken for. The February batch is almost probably spoken for. We're doing sixty a month, out of which we get fifty good ones usually. The January batch is under preparation right now, yeah. and we've got I don't know how many names. Last time I checked, it was eighty or ninety yeah. of wow. people who are on the waiting list. They haven't paid yet, but they're they're on the waiting list. So I don't know. So. Send in your name to be on the, the Great Wave waiting list. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'm really sorry about that. I would love to have them ready for everybody all the time, but demand is simply too high. And I refuse, refuse, refuse to do what the bean counters demand, put the price up. Yeah. It does nothing for anybody. So if you're interested in the Great Wave, go to the Great Wave page, put your name in, and we'll simply write a letter to you when, when your number comes up. And it's not an order. You may not want it, but if you do mm-hmm. want it at that time, you can, you know, order it at that time. Mm-hmm. It's same. We have the same thing for the octopus. So there's a name page. Drop your name in, and we'll let you know when we get closer. Yeah. And I'm sorry about the situation. I, I just simply can't can't help it. Mm. Mm. Okay. What we've got is one, two, three, four. Let me do one more five. So let's do the actual. Because I gotta get going in the black, you know. Yeah. We'll do five here on screen right now. Then I'll do five more this afternoon. You know, before I go home. The other five sheets that are in here, I'll do those five more. So we'll end up with ten today. Um Huh. The first legendary loot print will be my first Dave Bull print. Any estimate on when it will be shipped out? They're getting shipped now, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I think they're shipping as we speak, the show. Yeah, so they should be there very soon. Oh, I've got to mention one thing. It depends also on... Uh, we're running out of cases. In fact, we have run out yep. of cases. That's right? what the phone call was this morning. Okay, was. So, so we're out of cases. <laughs> yeah, so so the I want her to let me know which ones didn't get a case, and we will ship the case with the February print. So I want to let the people, um, you want to let the people yep. know in advance sure. that don't panic when you open it and there's no case inside. Well, yeah. you'll see it when you receive it. Right. And we're going to have to split them into two groups because what I've started doing the last few days, yeah. as I took in new subscriptions, people want a case. I didn't bill it to them because I know we have none right now. Ah, okay. So we've got two kinds now, people who have paid for a case, or three kinds. Yeah. People who have paid for a case and are getting one, people who have paid for a case and are not getting one, and then people who haven't paid for a case but want one. Okay. Okay, here we are. Let's go. There's, there's five five of the background right there. Yeah. I'm keeping them in the pack so they stay moist. We've got to keep things moist. Yeah. I'm going to take this stack now. I'm going to flip it over so that number one is still now going to be number one the second time through. Right. Flip the block over, get rid of these pigments. The black, please, Kai san. Thank you. Keko koi, usui. Yeah, usui. Soka, soka, soka. Keko mizu poi desu ne. Oh, person said, I'm serious, I'm in Kanda and would like to come to the shop today and grab one of these early prints. I don't know what to say. They're not, yeah. We're not selling them yet. I've got to give them to some people I really yeah. have an obligation to. So, count them up. Send an email in and we'll get a hold of you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. We well, see he just brought me a bowl of the black pigment from the party room. Is that the party customer now? First one? No. And then there's some friends. There's some friends. Too wet. 
Where's that original sheet test paper? Yeah, that's the test paper. Ah, change the baron. I need another. I've got it here somewhere. Did Adi Masio? We have two barons today. The first one I used was one of our stronger ones. Uh, it's a Yakko, no? Judoko, Judoko. No, Yakko, Yakko. It's an eight strand fat baron. That's what I'd use to do the, the smooth color on the background. What I'm going to use now is a baron that's a much finer, gentler one for this hair, hair zone. I don't know what number it is, I can't remember. This is actually the first real baron I ever got. So. We have a black. I can't put it in there because there's no registration marks. Should we try? Should we try lining it up? No, it just looked foolish. Let's just print. Let's just do this thing. The first one might line up, might not line up. Who knows? Let's see. Yeah. Registration marks were there. So, keeping it moist is a major concern. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Here we go. Here is print number okay. one. Yes, yes, yes. Whoop, drop it, why don't you break it? And you can see, look at this. It's got a nice embossing under that body. Look at this. It's going to be so cool. Look at that. Is that registered properly? Yes. <laughs> I think it's okay. Maybe okay. Okay. Number one. I'm telling you, gotta get a pencil. Let's see. Is there, there is two, right here, right here, right here. No. Let's do this. On the back. I'll put a little one in a circle. We've got it. There's number one. Yeah. Got lots of people with happy looking faces like oh tada wow Fabulous, what like amazing. he did it he was able yeah. to do it i mean like there was any Voila. doubt there was any doubt <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry about the 90 minute thing obviously i was clearly overestimating underestimating mm -hmm. This is a nice mm. print, you know. I like this. I like this. Mm. Number two. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. It's eleven o'clock. Three hours. Oh, three hours. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> Double the time I estimated. No way. I have to bury my head in shame. <laughs> my design, the carver we saw in that old on the old video to show. Yeah. <laughs> TV shopping. <laughs> Sorry, so phone now. Oh, oh, one, two, oh, five, 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 five. To order this print. You know? <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Here we go. So, uh, but so three hours start three to finish. Hours. What is that? Yeah. Number one, number two. Did I write what number did I write? I hope you wrote one. I wrote two. No, okay. one, two. I'm getting this wrong. I can't even keep track. This is number three. I. Do we need to focus on the number so people can verify that it's the same yeah. writing when they get it? I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna send out ten or twenty threes and. <laughs> okay, we're gonna decide now about doing this. Okay, stream. I have two or three obligation people. You know, the, the young man who made the bot. I've got to send him one of these prints. Uh, the young man who's doing the Facebook update page to our to our blog. Mm. I'm I'm paying him anyway, but I've got to I've got to do a, give him a nice print. Other than that, then we have our general readers, people who've been following, and there are hundreds of you. So I don't know what to do. So what I'd like to. We're gonna to have to, you know, pull pull names out of a hat. Yeah. So, how should I do this? Everybody who has sent a question in the past, put all those names into a hat. Mm. And if we do this now, please send a question now, or or just a request to the question page. Please put my name in for for consideration. Right. Let's do this then. The email address is twitch at mokohangkan dot com. I think it's. It's been in here. Let me pop it up. <laughs> Long pop time it up. watcher here, Kafka. <laughs> Here. So let's let's just try and make this up as we go along. The email address is there, twitch at mokohankan.com. 
And what it doesn't matter. Put the oh. question. Put the word question in the title or not. We'll get the email. And just ask, please request for my name to be put in the drawing for these prints. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make five on screen now and five later this afternoon when I get back out of the shop. So there'll be mm. 10 prints. And as I said, two of them for sure, I have to send as uh, obligation prints. Thank right. you, prints. So there will be eight or maybe seven or eight yeah. to disperse to people who have been watchers on the stream. And I think perhaps that's fair if we do it that yeah. way. And if you want your name to be included, just make sure it's in our Twitch question box. Yeah. And we'll go back for right back to August. Okay. And we'll go forward for the next couple of days. And every name that's in there, we'll take each name one only. We'll put it in a bag. So don't send multiple questions. Yeah, just there's to... no, 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 no purpose to doing that. We're not trying to game this. We're just trying to be fair to the fans and, and throw these out. And this is not to be emphasis. We're not going to sell these. We're just going to give them to you. We'll need your name and address for the people who we don't have a name and address for. And out of the 10, I think I'll keep one of them. I'm not sure. I'll keep one. Yeah. And then we'll send, send the rest. Send the rest out. Okay. Me, me, me. <laughs> am I still on my own? Should I zoom in for this last couple? Sure. What should I do here? Not too. We were trying to show the over. I know. That's my favorite. So for the color, I got the. I think I got the teal right on that one. Number four. Eh? Someone else pointed out the guy who runs the fan page should get one as well. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Any any suggestions like this? Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm just sort of making this up as I sit here. So yes, I do have clearly some some obligation stuff here. Mm -hmm. And actually, if I need if I need more, if it turns out I've forgotten someone, I'll just make another one. Whatever you know. Yeah. This is not an official limited edition. They are going to be numbered. And maybe we'll we'll put it on the fan page. We'll scan them and scan the numbers or something yeah. so people can see what's going on. We'll make it. We'll make a thing out of this. So in years to come, people will be able to show. I've yeah. got one of those first ones. If it's a thing yeah. or not, I don't know. All right. So what we're looking at here now. This looks like the last print for this morning stream, right? We've got four. Yeah. That I haven't spoiled any yet. Look at this. You know. <laughs> so here we are. Before the black goes on. Yes, everyone is asking, I don't need to send it another one today to get yourself entered. If you've sent a question any time in the past, you're Yeah, let's do it that way. Sure, 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 sure. Let's do it that way. In the system. There we go. We've got to number this. This is number five. So this is the first five. I'll do five more at least this afternoon. We're going to put this down. And there we have it. Let's zoom in a bit. I think I'll use number four. I think the color. Is that it? Should we zoom in a bit more? That's nice. I think it looks very nice. I'm very, very, very happy with this. It's not like it's a very complicated print, but it's a beautiful, clean design, and it just suits the woodblock medium so beautifully, so perfectly, so perfectly. Well, I think, gang, I think there we have it for today. I know the plan at the moment then is this will sit on the Twitch page for at least two weeks. That's the way Twitch does it. Mm -hmm. During that two weeks, I'll scoop it down. I'll put it into my video editing software, and I'm thinking at the moment I'll put two versions up to YouTube. I'll do one, which is pretty much the stream, just uncut as we have it. I might, if the audio is a bit out of sync, I'll sync up the audio up, yeah. and I'll leave it as a two hour stream. But then the same day I put that up, I think I'll put up an edited stream, which is like just 15 minutes or so, you know, part, you know, cut, 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 cut yeah. for people that are not crazy who don't have two hours to watch a YouTube stream. But tomorrow I'm off to Canada for a family outing. So I, I don't have time to do that then. So that might take a week or so. But in the meantime, this will be on the Twitch page and you can watch it anytime you like. Anything else we should say, Cameron Town, before we wrap this up? Um, no, that, that was nice. fun. That was exciting. It was. I'm very sorry that it took longer than I thought it would take, you know, whatever. <clears throat> Don't be. They're all saying uh, 90 minutes, 200 minutes, doesn't matter. We're happy to see you. So, <laughs> And it's been fun. It's, uh, it's really been fun. You know, I've been doing this now since the mid 1970s, so over 40 years. And I'm still having a ton of fun. Every time I pull a sheet of paper off the blocks, it's the same feeling. There's a little book, book, book. It's just so cool. 
so much fun to see this happen. And it wasn't mysterious for me. I knew this was going to happen today, but it's still, once it does happen, it's still, wow. You yeah. Know, wow. So there we go. We're going to sign up. Thanks very much for being part of this today. And uh, I've had a lot of fun making this. And whatever. That's enough for today. This will be in the shop later once we've had time. Ayumi San's going to print it. Someone's going to print it. I don't know who knows. Cool. We'll get it going. Thank you again. Signing off here from, from Mokohan Khan in Asakusa. Cameron yep. San says goodbye. Yep. David See you later. says goodbye. Thanks for watching us today. And the bad news, the stream is now going to be off for one week while I'm on that family vacation. Oh, week. We're going to pick up one week from now. And I'll post about it before I do to let you know the time and place. Thanks again. Bye-bye okay. for now. Look at that. She looks so nice. Yeah. I just can't get it came enough out great. Of this stuff. It's beautiful. And we've never even mentioned the designer's name once. Like, we don't even care about him anymore. <laughs> I've forgotten. It's Ichiro or something. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever. He's happy. He's happy. Yeah. He's happy. Okay, people. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs>